So, uh, apart from Melano, who is uh, learning how to make potions and shit from Wynn, and technically has been for... You were horrible at first. Your potion crafting, oh, absolutely abysmal. Um, it's a good thing you spent a week there. You did finally learn to make <laughs> one small standard healing potion. <laughs> nice. Oh, right. Since, it's not, since we're not in the city, I can't look for anything, can I? So that depends. You've had a week. Um, so what is it you technically be looking for? Also, um, I'm pretty, was RJ here? I'm pretty sure RJ was here earlier on, was he not? Nah, he has a, uh, he has a thing at four. Oh, that's okay, yeah. Um, cool, no, I'm cool with that, so. Um, I wanted, I wanted to look for magic items, but oh, yeah, I just wanted to spend some of the platinum I had, <laughs> but we're not in the city. <laughs> we're in the city right now, no, I do apologize, my cute honey little boo boo child. Um, I will say... Also, within that time as well, you know, technically speaking, it's not a far fetch that given that everyone's been communicating, Melano has not managed to make her way to this building where, you know, people are aware that they are. So I will just quickly drop Melano on the map here. Boom, Melano's in the house. Uh, for everyone else, I, like I said, we'd be running this this way. So I'm going to put down the names. The question comes, I did ask you, however, I didn't get any reply, so I want to know now. If anyone took the time to try and learn anything from another player character. There is nothing of benefit that I can learn from these people. <laughs> Why, which is weapons? Well, where last we left off, the party had decided it was going to be a good idea to go a little walk. One particular little walk took them to, um, took them to t uh, Miss Rickle Dust, shall we say, and going to her house, they got the far gab and went their way back towards the town city. They done some shopping. They then went out the next day to find some lost scouts. Uh, they done a massive battle plan and completely destroyed the draconians holding these people hostage. In their way back, they received a message on the far gab about a potential training ground that the red dragon army were using they decided to investigate that and came across a humanoid who i say humanoid an actual fucking human a person a man teaching six hobgoblins and it seemed to be almost a sort of class in well, military, I suppose the word I'm looking for is... Milit what, what, there's a word I'm looking for, that... Discipline. Military discipline. <laughs> um, the party decided that they were having none of that as soon as they heard the word Red Dragon Army. And proceeded to... Pick a fight. Fane? Almost lost his life, but did not, thank goodness. Um, everyone else done some very powerful fighting. Boralis managed to hit six out of eight shots. And, as it were, the party... Round of applause. Party get their nice long rest because they're in a house and no one would think any differently. Uh, and now, just for one piece of inspiration... To the first who can. Uh, the quote. Oh, shoot. Dang. Let me go look at the quote. If you know you your enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gained, you shall also suffer a defeat. If you know neither your enemy nor yourself, you shall succumb in every battle. Well, there's got to be Sun Tzu, the art of war, right? Got it. Art of War. That's <laughs> any any quote about combat. Of course, it's Sun Tzu. Of course, it's also Sabaton. Mm -hmm. It's also Sabaton. Art of War. Same. It's in the album. It's also it's the album name. It's the song name, and it's the book name. But yeah, uh, Bernard, John have one inspiration. You may need Sweet. it. Right. Give yourself advantage on something to see you're using it, or reroll. 
So, uh, bum, bum, okay. Bum, bum. What's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, yep. I'm going to say I spent some time the last week, especially early, trying to figure out what happened to the family that lived here that the human kept alluding to. We would join them. Yep. Um, uh, I will say for that time, um, give yourself a investigation check with advantage. It's been a week, you know, so give yourself that with advantage. And uh, okay. wow. <laughs> 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 oh, and that one turns to a zero. <laughs> My guy is dumb. <laughs> that hurts to look at. Thank God it was. Thank God it was with advantage, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. This. I'm gonna say he couldn't find his ass with both hands, but this man needs detailed instructions to run a bath. Yes. Told them to draw a bath and they got a sketch pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, get those out of the get those out of the way early. As far as as far as you know, they could have been they could have been anywhere. Bryn even tells you a tall tale that maybe they were eaten by a dragon on the whim of the elves. But you know. Kenders talk mm. shit. Yeah. I've really been looking at this mm. stuff, guys, okay? Really. <laughs> uh, for everyone else, bim, 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 bim. Uh, if you've not already, give yourself a long rest. Uh, Melano, you can also add a, a standard 2d4 plus 4, I believe it potion is. Healing field. potion. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's just the important item. So. Um, I can't. Why? Plutonium and port. It shows me D D A E sheet and prototype token. The three, show me. three dots at the top. Nope. Just... Does anyone else not have the three Just dots at the general. top of their sheet? Uh let me check. Oh, I got them. Yeah, I, I got them. Okay, now I got them as well. Ah, just must have been an issue. Going. Don't worry, it happens. It happens. Uh, use the. I mean, my internet is really bad. Yeah. And I am in Scotland, so don't worry. We we have had snow for the past three days. And then rain and then snow. It's been a weird night. So let's see. Um I uh I would like to be autumn today. Cool. Oh, yeah. Ben Brawless Melano. Still looking for the potion. Uh, just use the big, uh, once you're in the items in the search bar, just type in healing. Uh, Fane and then... Baralis. It's not showing anything. <laughs> that was quick. Hold on. I swear to God, if that's already my dinner. Where is it you find all the different seasons? What feature is it for us? Go to, go to face step and then click on it. Yeah. Go to Aladdin if you want to see what you should what you so should what? technically go to Aladdin if you should if you want to see what you should technically act like whenever you take a uh take a season season yeah because it yeah. it it affects your uh, emotions as well. Oh damn, bro. Okay. So whenever I pick summer, whenever I pick summer for Fane, I'm much more aggressive, and I think I had summer oh, whenever. Yeah. Nice. I think I had summer whenever I was like, uh, we were fighting all the goblins. I they just... went straight for the leader. <laughs> you struggle in with the word season. Yeah. I, I, I was like, what are these things called again? I don't particularly care about the roleplay of it. If you want to keep it with the roleplay and that and get more into your character. Mm. By all means. Yeah, I yeah. I'm, I'm forming it. Um, and I, speak, the, the, I mean more for Ben. Um, you know, first time and all that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, I like winter. Oh, winter. Winter. 
Chill. The, the funny thing is, is that the British people are the ones that often struggle with season. Uh, I think you'll find oh. Australians have uh, Christmas in the middle of summer. Yeah. No, I'm in season eight. Oh, so that's why when I face stepped next to was it Fane? Remember when we yeah. killed the guard at the very at the gate, <laughs> yep. and I face stepped next to you, and then you were terrified of me, and I didn't understand why you were terrified of me. That's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think that was me. Oh, was it you or was it maybe someone else? I think it was maybe either Exodus or... Or was somebody playing your character because you weren't here? Probably. Yeah. Because uh -huh. the, the, the summer one turns to... They get fire damage, yeah. So, I mean, I don't want to... <laughs> you were frightened and set ablaze. No, Meg, no curry for you. Believe me, you make enough bad smells, you don't need curry. God, that was your food already? You just ordered it. My guy, in, like, I live in a town centre. I could have walked there and probably come back quicker with it. I just paid so I didn't have to go out in the fucking rain. I am a simple man who's got curry all over his notes. Uh, so, uh, real quick, uh, Morales, you said you were, what was that, summer? Winter. Winter and Melano. Winter. Cool. So, uh, it also looks like Exodus is looking to learn some uh, heavy armor proficiencies. If anyone... In fact, uh, I'm going to make it very simple for you. Um, yeah. Bren will teach you heavy armor. Alright, um, I don't expect to learn it this soon. It could take multiple weeks. What's your intelligence? Oh. Uh, my intelligence is... You 12? Have, you have, yeah, so uh, it will actually only take you nine, sesh, nine, nine weeks of downtime. That sounds fair to me. It's a ten-week standard. Uh, the higher your intelligence the less it takes, but the lower your intelligence, it caps at 10. So, like, you know, if you've got, like, a negative two intelligence and you, you know, you need someone to spoon feed you and tell you that here comes the ancient black dragon, still takes you 10 weeks. So, yeah, a heavy armor to our boy back in Exodus. So, as it were, as you spend your time in here, Getting to know each other personally. Oh, that's where that went. I'm an idiot. He is eventually receive a melanol comes hmm? with a letter, rather. A similar letter to that which you'd received prior. That's just easier. We've been through too much today. Another set of orders from... Okay. No, we've done that one. Why do you have to pick number four? From uh, Governor Mayat and your... Good friend, Darrett. It reads, We have some worrying reports come in from the surrounding area. Some 18 miles west of the city, which is actually pretty close to where you are now, given how the numbers of this work. This is the one that you just did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't mind me. It's been I was about to say, don't. I was about to say, don't we have a radio? Why are they sending a letter? Because it made it easier. Because Melano showed up. That's fair. Is this one what I think it is? So I am like so underprepared because we had so many issues. That's cool. Sorry. You know me. 
Uh, Rickle Dust. Yeah! You see Wart on the letter. It reads On the outskirts of Calaman and East Wild come reports of caravans being attacked. Caravans of goods from traders. Nothing military in regards to it, all civilian casualty. Reports have come in that it is once more draconian. It seems the enemy is trying to <clears throat> trying to starve out the side of Calman in order to potentially start a full frontal assault. If you could check out these reports, that would be appreciated. Governor Matt. This is located where this is located where? East of? Mm. On the outskirts. Farmlands on the... Just outside farmlands of the... Outskirts of East Wild. Yeah, so I put that to the map for us. Continent map, right? Yeah, we'll use the continent map. Uh, we are probably... If I move everyone over here, we'll then make Melano visible. Probably looking more... About here. On this particular side. So that puts you as... 25 miles from Calaman, but you are quite far out. So, you know, maybe looking at about five hours. About five miles, rather. You yeah. <coughs> know. Numbers and um, numbers okay. I would take a moment to mm -hmm. talk to the party. By all means. I would ask. Wasn't when we encountered the first encountered these draconians, dragon people, folk, uh, they were taking from the cart of a merchant. But if I recall, there's something very peculiar about what they're taking and what they're relieving. But I can't seem to recall it. Do you remember? And he would turn to, um, let me look in the chat to see. Fane and Boralus. Renard. He turned to Renard. Mm -hmm. Right? It was mm -hmm. Renard who was there too, no, and Boralus? No. no. They, you, they had a separate thing than us. He wasn't with us. It was me and Boralus. Yeah. Ah, then he would turn to me and Boralus. They were taking um, provisions, food, anything they can get their hands on. They left weapons and whatnot. All right. That's what it was. Thank you. So, we're close to the where this reported activity is going on? Five miles so off, trip? yeah. Yep. Ah, short trip. Hmm. But that would also make it about 25 miles, I'm going to say, and I'm going to click and click until I get our numbers. Use mm. our... Yeah, so you are good thing gives me you are eighteen miles outside of Calaman to the east and this here is twenty miles east of Calaman. So in actuality, even shorter. Two miles. That blue dot's west of Calaman. That's in the wrong area. That's north of Calaman. That's Vogler. That's uh. where I thought you put well, I, so where are I we picked, over so, here? So yeah, you would be you would still technically be in this cell here, and you would more than likely be encroached on the border to this cell here, All which right. puts you yeah, twenty miles getting back to Calaman, which I think you know depending upon how that goes and such, could be looking at timing on it being, I think just under a day, uh, without a long rest. You know, without camping over for the night, which is good, 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 good for yourselves. You say, well, I thought you said we were two miles away. These are, yeah. But each cell is 25 miles, remember? So yeah. 20, miles, 20 miles from where you are to Calaman, that would be even on horseback, like 
encroaching on the evening for you getting back. So you wouldn't be camping out, it wouldn't be a whole day. Just because I know you're on horseback. You all have horses from the last outing. Apart from Fane, but I mean, you know, he, he can move for 60, you know. So can a horse. Fane moves as fast as a horse, it's confirmed. I'm confused why we're <laughs> talking about going back to Calaman when we're two miles away from this, where this no, stuff I, is reported I, to be going on. I mean, at the end. Like, once done that, if, there's nothing, if there's nothing else to be done, um, getting back to the city yeah. to do shopping and such like that, you know? Yeah. Well, we could come right back to this farmhouse and camp out and then return to the city tomorrow. See if it gets late. No, that's what I'm anyway. saying. Because you got horses, it wouldn't be that late. Gotcha. Right, potentially right. if we're injured. Yeah. If shit goes yeah, sideways that's... and Fane decides to feign death for a while, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or, if I did, or if I decide to stay behind and make another potion or something. Just kidding. <clears throat> so. Well, we'll have, uh, yeah, well, it's, everybody ready to head that direction? <clears throat> uh, so there's no Bryn this time so uh, for the sake of it we'll just say that Bryn goes back to Calaman, takes her horse and leaves she's got better shit to do yeah, for... so. no I don't <laughs> you're not Bryn, you're not a kender you're not a crazy little oh, kender <laughs> never mind, ignore me, sorry sorry, ignore me Threat. we have two females in the group one being played by a female one being played by a male we're heading out towards the where these yep. caravans are being raided. Yes, I will. I will say because it's such a short journey as well, your travel goes unhindered. Because you know, why would you be hindered in that time? As you do, however, eventually, you come to a scene on the road. A rather grim. And grisly scene. Numerous carts all seem to be sprawled over this particular part of the road. There are boxes and pieces of torn clothing. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any particular loss of life, however, there are sort of dried blood stains, if you were. As mm. you look around, you know, uh take maybe ten fifth and about an hour and a half to go that way. Yeah. As you look around, it is the middle of some dense forest. And for the most part, it's quiet. As you listen in, you do hear the birds chirping and such. Everything about it seems the perfect ambush spot. And as you can tell, people here have been ambushed. Uh, <clears throat> what I will do real quick, just to make things very easy for myself and for y'all's self. <clears throat> I will swap over the map. And I've also blocked part of it as well, but you know. Please be the right one. This is not the right one. This is the right one. <laughs> Let's use <clears throat> approach. This is the rough scene. Uh, if no one can see, let me know. If you can see, then that's good. You can see. Q -Q -Q. Right now I see a house. Uh, You're loading in for me. To. As it were. For there it is. For years. You see this particular scene in all of its unabated glory. What do you wish to do? I'm gonna be on guard and try to We know that there's an ambush taking place here. I try to see if we can determine which way the ambush is coming from, if it's one way or the other. Uh, roll a survival check for me, please. I hope it's better than a one. Ah, uh, a three. That was a uh. three? That's not bad. Well, it's a seven total. But on a three roll. You see, look around. So far. You look around, you can see that for the most part... Come on, <coughs> The 
the I mud mean... around both areas of the the track. On one it's... side, it's all muddied and torn a bit, torn to bits. On the other side, you can see it's also muddied and torn to bits. And examining this, you can't quite tell which side is where the tr cart has come, carts have come off track and landed and where people may have come from. It's quite hard. Mm. Are there any bodies? None. But there are like little specks of blood here and there. Well, it looks like people have maybe been nicked by, you know, maybe an arrow or splinting wood or even a tough fall. Can I, uh, go ahead, step for? Oh, wait. Should I? Yeah, I do. I, uh, he would, Exodus would put a hand up and uh, he would say, let's survey the area before we investigate. And... I would like to go into the tree line just a little bit and make a perception check if I can, just to see yeah. if there might be any stragglers. Yep, yeah. well, means. Uh, I'll cast that's a aid on Fane, Bat, Renard, and Exodus. Would you look around? What is it? Uh, it's an additional, it's like five temporary hit points, and if you need healed, you also get five normal hit points. So that's max hit points. Oh, is there an additional five maximum for the period? Just eight hours. Mm. I sleep on aid so fucking much. <laughs> mm. Um. Yeah. As you look around the trees, look around. It does appear that. Use. It seems safe. It seems fine. It doesn't seem there's anything lying in wait. Um, so these are all. You, know, you, you can ascertain that you are safe. So, uh, yep, everyone's sheet is updated now. Does anyone else wish to do anything? I'm waiting until Exodus say the coast is, I'm assuming the coast is clear. <laughs> yeah. He would say the coast is clear and he would also go to investigate. Um, depending if your investigation is higher, I'll give you help. I have a... Actually, my investigation is plus zero. I have a plus one. Um... I'm so going to guide whoever is going to be doing the Get in touch. Did you say you're, fo you're following Boralus around and Gaidens is touch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm going to touch him and there you have Gaidens now <laughs> and then go back to the, to Renard. Can I see if there's any, like, um, tracks on the ground? Mm, a... Survival check, I believe, is the one I'm looking for there. Yes, survival? Survival. Same one I had Renard roll. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I had him roll investigation. Um, I'll give you a survival or investigation because I made a huge fuck up. I'll do survival. Hmm. You notice that off into the distance, eventually the mud thins out. However, you spent enough time fighting draconians that you know their feet aren't exactly like normal feet they are clawed and as you look you can see tufts of the grass in certain ways that seem almost like a ploughed field you give you a sort of inclination that draconians went this way and i uh this way yeah, I uh, I inform the party that I found some tracks and they're uh, going a certain direction. Western. Uh, Exodus would say, "Good work." Uh, I suppose we should report this. I uh, I say we scout it out first. Yeah, I say we follow and scout ahead. You scout ahead, and we'll follow you. Okay. 
Uh, uh, let me seems... investigate the cart first. Okay. Yep. Uh, wasn't Melanie supposed to give guidance to Exodus? Why'd she give it to other guy? Baralas, I thought he was going to do the rolling. Uh, I think that's Bar Exodus, but Baralas is Scottish. <laughs> I thought you knew me better. Uh, I mean, technically speaking, the guidance is still up for who it was. I personally thought you were giving it to either Fane or Exodus, whoever was doing the check. So. Okay. Yeah, whoever was doing the checks. Sorry. I'm a little bit out of it still. Hmm. Damn. You know yeah, um... These... <laughs> despite everything that you can see, you're certain there's nothing really wrong with these carts. They are. Just a little bit of light maintenance. They're all good. The carts and... <laughs> you know, maybe we should take one of these. Our carts. A good cart. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just a little bit of body work. You know, I'm pretty sure half of this is rust. It's a wooden cart. Rust and I am. Sure. If you want to. Yeah, we got horses. Yeah, you have horses. That's been your mode of transport. One second, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. Ooh, nice bubble. Why am I? What's up? That's weird. No, nothing. My picture shows a little bit of red, but I show forty out of oh, forty hits. Because you have a maximum of five hit points additional for the next eight hours. Technically speaking, oh, right. you have a hit point maximum of forty-five. It's akin to temporary gotcha. hit points, but when you get healed, you actually go up. <laughs> no. Gotcha. <laughs> HP. Okay. So yeah, I'll update sheets now. If your sheet is so thin, you are technically have 34 hit points. Remember, guys, you're sending the weakest member out first. He's the guy you, you would expect that <laughs> me, I would I would be the the weakest person. <laughs> Even the sorcerer has more hit points. Speaking well, he's, of all, the he's sorcerer. the stealthy ranger. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he the bug. Yeah. Or the rogue. Oh, I, no, I, I told the, Barabbas I to have the to... lowest D, D, oh. <laughs> dice to roll for help. Bar for Fane can go with him, but Varala should go out and scout ahead. Um, and maybe Exodus. I don't know. Get all three of them. They're all stealthy, right? I uh, just know I can clink around. Melano, your AC with Mage Armor is... Up. He's 14... Or more mouth type. I don't know. <clears throat> it's 13, 13 plus, plus dexterity. So 13, yeah, 14. Plus one. Yeah, 14. Yep. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a few are headed off into the woods there, Bra there Bralis. Uh, how do you proceed? I'm going to try and sneak my way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if you would like to... Uh, Make a stealth check then. Okay. Now, I'll never let you I know guess. if your stealth check fails. You'll just have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What do you see? As you push up, Baralis, you see a small encampment. It looks like two tents and sitting on a log with a nice long stick. With Something on the end, you can't quite see what, and a small plume of smoke. You see what you know as two Baz Draconians. <clears throat> I wave over to Melano so she can come closer. There's two draconians up ahead. Go back and tell Renard. Keep an eye out okay. for more. Well then. <clears throat> I'll say as well. Um, and I sneak my way back. Yep. I'm just going to use your 19 because uh, your guidance. Hmm? 
I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna ask you to re-roll stealth. I'm gonna keep your singular stealth checks there, so don't worry. Cool, cool. Yeah. Um. Baroness saw two best draconians. Two draconians. There, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ex uh, Fane, Exodus, you want to go up and go with him and uh, try to position yourselves around the camp. We'll try to sneak up if they show any signs that they hear me coming. Sure thing. Holler out and then go ahead or go ahead and attack them. We don't want to give them a chance to. Is this like up prepare. or down? Um, that is up. Okay. Is this a cliff right here? An embankment, more than anything. I would say given, like I'm the, given the your tree. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I would require a strength or athletic check from you, and the same for uh, Fane if you wish to climb there, uh, because Fane can't jump. Um, the tree! You already used your guidance. The tree is quite I can, I can use it all the time. It's a cantrip. Yeah, you didn't see you were gay. You, you gated yourself, but you didn't see you were gated yourself again. Got to hear it. Oh. As you try to climb this tree regardless, it is quite slippery. Slippery and hard, yeah. The bark itself is quite smooth. Um, I'm trying to think of that actual type of tree, but you know the ones that are like kind of white? They kind of look like zebras, really? You birch? I Russians? Birch? Potentially. The ones that don't have a hard bark, but they have a smooth, papery bark. Finn. I think that's birch. Uh, birch or aspen, yeah. Finn, as you push on up, you notice encamped two bad draconians with sticks rather long hovering over the fire and what looks like a small creature on the other end cooking away probably a lizard so i did manage to climb the tree okay no climb tree <clears throat> i would also try to stealth forward yeah i can have a stealth check from you what if I use face step to get up there? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, there you go. you got a 17. Uh, it doesn't really take really make a noise. Oh. So I, I can't really see it with that. It doesn't make a nice skill. Um, yeah, as I'm just checking our. Passives here are okay. <laughs> so you look on over. Uh, your your biggest issue is going to be the elevation of the thing in Foundry. However, you do look on over, you do see yeah, more... I see black thing. You see more trees, see more smoke, and the tops of a few draconians. You do see two draconians off. To what would be the east? <clears throat> Let's just listen in. There's a lot more than two voices. It's all relatively hidden right now, <clears throat> barring some, but. What do we wish to do? I'm gonna to try to stealth up behind these fellas. Yep, so no they will stealth. Yeah. stealth. Is that roll stealth? Yeah. I will see. Now another one. I was gonna say something and then you rolled it. Oh, I could use my... You could have used your reroll. I mean, technically speaking, you could still use your reroll. However, if you wanted to give yourself advantage on that, I would have taken the leftmost number. And I was going to say that. Oh, okay. You clicked it. I mean, you still can use it as a reroll if you wish. Yeah. So just reroll it? Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> if you want, you go. 
just re-roll straight or with advantage or disadvantage again? Uh, re-roll it with the disadvantage because you're using it as a re-roll and by standard you have disadvantage. A four is better than a one. Fuck. Four yeah, is well. better than a nat one. Not as good as a 14, but it certainly is better. You are quite a distance away, remember. Yeah. <clears throat> as you yeah. are looking, you can't see the aforementioned draconians. Brallus, you see two. Fane, you see one and two bits. Melon, are you here? Multiple. Renard, you just kind of make out the tents there up at the top. Just the tops of the Nomores. It's not a very high embankment there. Exodus, you see I'll the same. I'll send down like a minor illusion. More than two. Like words more than two in there, like Voldemort's. I even want to pretend I know how minor illusion works sometimes. <laughs> Uh, an eight <laughs> cantrip. You have so much in eight, and then it's just cantrip straight after it. Like, fuck me sideways, you know? Um, <clears throat> an image of an object. Uh, like, a, like a sign, more than one. More than two. <laughs> you can do sounds. You can do what? You can do sounds. Create a sound or an image of an object within range. Da -da -da. I don't feel it's my job to tell you why that would be a bad idea. <laughs> That's why I'm using a sign more than two ahead. <laughs> no, just, you can make sound. No, I mean it, it has a it has a it has a range of only ten feet. Like the, the sound doesn't carry past like fifteen feet, no matter how loud you make it. <clears throat> yep. I'll see. You just get this little message down that. Indicates that there are more than the two that was communicated. Uh, it's kind of between Renard and Baralis there, as you are both within that range. I whistle to get his attention and make sure he knows. Are you whistling? And to let Thane know. Before he walks into a trap. <clears throat> walks into trouble. Suppose we should just keep moving, pushing forward. I'm going to freeze because I'm being too loud. You know what? I'll, uh, I'll try to stealth. I'm taking Boards. your previous stealth roll right now until you get to a certain point. Um, <clears throat> there are a few people encroaching on that point. But you're 17 there, my guy. Yo, sorry, yeah, you're 17. We'll still work. Alright, this would be 10. Oh. 15. If I stop my movement with the intention of trying to regather myself and try again, do I get a reroll stealth? Uh, <clears throat> I'll... I would say your next reroll is gonna come after Fane. So like, right. after Fane takes five, every, like you know, he'll have to reroll, and then everyone else. <clears throat> All right. Mm -hmm. Fane. However, Fane, uh, when you make your reroll, make it a disadvantage. Making, I'm sorry, what roll? A stealth roll. I, I don't believe I've made an ad initial stealth roll. And that's why you're rolling at disadvantage. Okay. I mean, you, you can be as aggressive as you want. I assumed that you were being stealthy. <clears throat> you, um, you're also rolling... Privately. Privately. <laughs> I am? Oh, I am. Okay. Sorry. I'll look well down. On the long rest, I was like, yeah, whatever. But for this one, it's like, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Damn. As you are looking, there is not much happening. These Draconians do seem to be almost on break more than anything. They are, for the most part, enjoying a morning, shall we say. Not so long. <laughs> 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 Is there any way that we can get like a little closer? I'm gonna move around here. Yep. And here. I just want to get behind this tree here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'll keep your thoughts. How about we? That one. What do we think about this idea? You guys hide. I'll go make some noise to draw them towards the trail, and you uh, attack them from behind. Okay. I'm gonna hide over here then. I don't know what does everybody think of that plan. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, we'll see if you are. Yeah. We'll see if you are hiding. Uh, make a further stealth check just for the hide as you're no longer encroaching. You are particularly hiding, Baralis. Thought you'd be better than that. Exodus. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, Balance wow. is restored. Should I also um, <laughs> If you're are you you're staying up, up in a tree, Melanol? Mm, I mean if we're if you're going I can't see anything yet, so yeah, I'm probably gonna climb down. See I mean I can't because it's a wall. <laughs> what about now? Okay, I can move now, thank you. Dexterity check? Yeah, I had a dexterity check to hide. And I'll say that you are, you know, you're crouched down hiding in the tree. Or hiding in the trees under bush. 15. Cool, cool, cool. I have like fucking horrible notes, but yeah. These are all <clears throat> poised to strike. Hidden under the trees to the best of your abilities. The birds chirp and the god rays pierce through the the lights, the leaves, <clears throat> and such. Uh, I'm gonna head back here. No attempt to be stealthy. Actually, I'm gonna make a bunch of noise. Yeah. Um. Cuss, cussing about the wagons and the tree across the path. I can well, make some noise with a minor illusion. Ten foot. Thirty feet. 30 feet range. That's prestigitation. Uh, but, 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 prestigitation. Uh, I will say, uh, Renard, for that one there. Uh, just for the fun of it, roll me a performance check. We'll see. Performance check. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay. As you, Thank you stand there, screaming, shouting, calling out the gods down in front about your wagon, your fell tree. Everyone else, here's the crackling of the fire before they start hearing the clunky footsteps <clears throat> of the draconian army. I need to move these in very particular ways, so give me a little second. Don't want that one, I'll take that one and that one there though. I'm just going to turn that one off so I don't need to see my own fucking shadows. Very simple. I am not the smartest. Let's use... Watch. And I'm going to... Uh, horses, I'd say you maybe left them about a five minute walk down the road. Safe in that regard. Uh, wait. Yeah, as you are. Oh, hold on, Melanor. Why are you moving? <laughs> Back to where you were. Back. No. I know, I know, I know. Bad elf. <laughs> Bad elf. Let's see. So. 
Oh, wow. Okay. As it were. That ain't even a D20 map. Yeah, that's a D10. <laughs> the worries watch as they all walk forth. Meg. Slowly. <laughs> kind of, some take a sort of wider path than others. You can tell that they are trying to almost get a surprise. And as they do, he watches. <clears throat> Coming round. Bernard. Melano. Exodus. Some of you see some Baj Draconians. Some of you see some Baj Draconians plus additionals. We must die first. As you watch as they start to... Some of them cocking up. You watch as the... Really? You watch as the one there. The, you know... The one you saw with the crackling lightning starts to crackle some lightning. These sheets don't have their fucking spells on it, which is just great. I gotta click a thing and then I need to go to the back of the book and hope that their spells are there. Why in the love of God would you do that? It's not my day, guys. It's not my day. Yeah, okay. Um. Cool. He does that, he does that, he does that, he does that. Oh, okay, uh, right. Oh, there we go. He does, they watch. And they look at each other. And you just hear in Draconian, from the one in front. It's just the one. <laughs> this will be easy. He watches it. Steps forth once more. And you see in its hands... The oh. yep. Do you watch as the hands seem to start clouding over? As it does, looking, walking forward. What's everyone else doing? Uh, I would like to be ready in action so that when one of them gets within range, I would yep. like to. Booming blade and then run? Or can I only ready an action? Can I not ready movement as well? Uh, I think you can only ready an action because movement's its one separate thing. Mm. I suppose then it wouldn't be readying an action. It would just be trying to start initiative once they get close enough for a surprise yeah. round. I mean, where are you? You are there. Yeah. So. I would say you could move up further. It would require another stealth check, just because of the movement and such, but there are, like, the shadows to facilitate it. No, I think they're coming this way. Yeah. Like, these... I, I In character, and I always... Yeah. I think they're coming this way. So I'll just wait until they uh, get too close enough from my hiding spot for me to leap out. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What's anyone else doing? He's waiting till they pass us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. Mm. Yeah, I'm ready. I'll be. Oh. I'll, if it seems like he's going to cast a spell, I would like to face tap the fuck away. Or something, I don't know. Aggressive? Oh, well, not you. Right. <laughs> I will see you. Watch as they do all move slowly. Yeah, I'm, fa I'm face stepping the fuck away. Sorry, yep. guys. And as you... You were here to my notation. Winter. Winter. Um, mm, wisdom saving throw or be frightened. Uh, wisdom saves on this guy here. It's a DC 10. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Second, you're gonna poof. you watch as they turn and he looks. And I'm gonna dissolve the roll initiative. Figured. 
goodness, I am so glad that she fucked up the plan before Exodus could fuck up the plan. <laughs> so thank you. Friends like you, who needs enemies, am I right, guys? <laughs> I'm the squishiest one. With no armor, basically. Four. Demon. This is gonna be a Yeah, but you have more health. Yeah, but I don't yeah, want to be well. a kid. You do better than our monk when it comes to health. Let's see, I have here Boralis, Fane, Melano, Renard, and I just need Exodus to hit that D20 button. Yeah, um, yeah I was yeah, working. Talk about winning initiative, guys. Hell yeah. I realize this Wait, is not combat music. This, this is not combat music. Well, I'm not last. It's an ambiance. This is combat. So, let's start things off just right. Uh, I'm noticing that things aren't showing. There's no little, correct me, no circular thing around people's tokens. There is around mine. Uh, uh, around Boralus. Boralus is no like little thing spinning around his token, no? No. 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 Cool. Yeah. I, sh I updated Foundry. I knew this was coming. <laughs> Yeah, um, Umbrellas, you are up. Okay. Uh, well, I've moved my 30 feet. Oh, it's about 5 feet in this case. Break uh, stealth coming out of these shadows. <clears throat> it's much for me. I need to remember who all these draconians are. <clears throat> A 14 hits for a total of 10. You're just going to fire that off. Poing! Hits. Did anyone else your turn again? And then going again. Attacking Same. again. Yeah. 16 for 8 also hits. Look at that guy. 2 for 2. You're going to fire off both. Hitting the Draconi. Nice. Splits nice. in. Did anyone else your turn? No, that's it. Kill. Cool. Uh, oh, Boralis. 1, 2. Then I will swish us over to Exodus. Oh yeah, uh, I will approach uh, ten feet. Yep. I will booming blade him. On you go. So it's just a regular attack. Does not. I don't think it ten hits. Does not hit. No. <clears throat> right. All right. And then so I got twenty feet of movement. I'll go here, and then I will. Bonus action dash uh, to 50 here. Uh, no, you can't hit me. Why? Uh, it's a rogue thing. Which one is it? Is it fucking... Uh... Swashmuckler. It's uh, Rakish Audacity or it's... Rakish oh, Audacity. I think it's Rakish it Audacity. It might, it might be fancy um, footwork. It's one of those two. Ra Let me check. Rakish Audacity? Uh, no, no, no. It is uh, the other one. It is the fancy footwork. Oh. Fancy footwork. Uh, I could get that. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. So, you learn how to land a strike and then slip away without reprisal. During your turn, if you make a melee attack against a creature, that creature. Right. That reads funny. No, I'm, I'm going to double check that later on, but for now, uh, twin twin, move away. Okay. I mean, I've been using it the entire game, but yeah. Uh, that is my yeah, turn. Every other time you fucking hit, though. <laughs> it just says make. It also says you've learned how to make an attack. Yes. Make an attack versus hit an attack. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, later. Yeah. Uh, who's up next, anyway? Um, Fane. Yeah, you learn how to land a strike, is the exact word. Fane. Thing is gonna take off twenty five right in between these two. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Gonna smack this guy once. Go for it. <clears throat> uh, where is it? That. Love it. Nessus. Um, and bonus action face step. 
and you are an Autumna. Uh, they have to roll wisdom for me or become charmed by me. Uh, if they don't beat us, fails passes. Wait. Um, the one that failed, huh? I'm just gonna point at the other one and I'm just gonna be like, "Kill him for me, will you?" And I'm gone. Whenever, whenever I can find face step. Uh, Thank you. Features. <laughs> in the fe in features. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. And poof. Mm. Hey, buddies. Hi. Okay. Whoa. Mm. Just so you're aware, you, you know what charm is, right? Charm? Yeah. I think I know what it is. Just that's friendly. not command. It, it just sees you as friendly. It wouldn't attack you, but oh, also yeah. it also sees them as friends. If I told you to kick fuck it out of RJ, would you do it? Please say no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Please say no. We love RJ. Uh, okay, I thought it was like brainwash. No, that'd be a command. But it also it also means it can't attack you. Okay, that's fine. And yeah. which one? Which one did I? Which one did I? Charmed failed. Okay. There's a little heart Oh, them. that one's failed. Yeah. Okay. If you have advantage on it, maybe? Um, no, you, if I hit if it, it... If any against any charm save, if you're if you're fighting that person, they have advantage. I might be wrong. The charmer has advantage on any ability checks to socially interact, and the charmed creature cannot attack the charmer. Eh. So like, it's just going right. to completely avoid you for the next, I think that's minute? Yeah, eh, minute. Perfect. So for ten rounds, but yeah. Uh, don't announce your turn, man. Can I persuade him to join our side? Certainly, make an attempt on that one. Yeah. We have cookies. You'd have to make a very good point, though. I mean. Uh, it's a point with advantage. Uh, how can I, how can we persuade him to come over? I'll give you time to think about it. Food, uh, over. good food, nice one. Move it over to Melon one just now. We'll see you think about it. Yeah, I'll. There is another one over here, right? Um, if is I he in the correct? Uh, from where Fanes came from, you know that there's one there. Um. As to its exact position, because you can't see it, it's technically classed as yeah. being in full cover. I'll cast Dust Devil and place it over here. Okay. And uh, let's see, Unoccupied Spirit. So, does anything next to that have to make this again? I forget. I yeah, next five feet with, within five feet of the Dust Devil. Top one passes. The one you can see also passes. So, what happens if they pass? Um, nothing. They just... Let me just... Uh, let me see. Feel through one day you opening damage. Half as much, da half as much damage it isn't pushed, so just two damage to each of them. Shit. Um, two damage to And each. then I would like to use Meta Magic Quicken spell. Okay. And cast... Mind sliver on this one over here. Okay. Come on. Uh, mind sliver. Ping that... it. Um, that's a cantrip, yeah. Uh, this one where? This one over here. Could, could you... Ah, I was gonna say, could you ping it? But you ping it. Cool. Uh, saves. Okay. You're gonna fire that off, and it just looks at you funny. Did I answer your done? No. Um, yeah. Going backwards. Okay, okay, okay. Then I will move over to the Baz Draconian. I need to, I need to think so bad. <laughs> he is gonna move on up to yourselves, and as he does, he's gonna take an attack at Renard and then Fane. Uh, miss. Uh, twenty for five on Fane. Renard, you were a six. I actually need to pop yeah. this out. That's how bad this is now. 
see one here will use his entire movement plus action to dash sword up high towards Boralus. Can't do much else right now. This one here, however, <clears throat> you watch as in its hand, lightning seems to crack in one hand. Tried it in the other. And as it does, it looks directly at yourselves. What's the fucking range on that? Ah, okay. So... Yep. It does crackle in hand. Points off, you watch it blast. Boom! Melano, Exodus. Yep. Yep. 16 for 15, Melano. Yep. Natural 20 for... 17 on Exodus. Ooh, that's spicy. Okay, I will mm. quickly do the health on one and two. Fine. Oh, thank you. I'm getting used to using the buttons right now because I've got so much on the fucking screen. So this one here moves up towards yourself, Boralis, as it does, short sword in hand. Uh, 20 for 3 and then 18 for 4, both hit for a total of 7 damage. Okay, I don't know why I've done that. Next up, this one here moves to here to support his good friend. The S1 here. And stuff. Do -do -do. Round past Boralus. I'll show you attack going if you want it, Boralus, with a short sword. Yeah. Yep. I don't have a short sword. You got a dagger? You got a melee weapon. You got, yeah, got a dagger, yeah. Yeah, you can make a. Oh, you can also use your long sword that you've got as well. Uh, either one to make the melee attack. Uh, opportunity attack on the one that passed. Just roll the dagger, yeah. Just roll the attack, yeah. Six for four will miss, unfortunately. He's gonna. Sway past it, but to no avail. Renard, stand in front of you, one ugly fucker. Just off in the distance, three more ugly fuckers. Oh, hey, you yeah, oh. Well, well, mm -hmm. we're in trouble. Somewhere past Hunter Mark. Excuse me. On this side of the gun, right? Yeah. Just because I don't like him. Of course. Before I attack the guy in front of me. Miss. What's a fucking one? This one here's Holy the one shit. Hunter's marked, yeah? Yeah, that one, yeah. Yep. I will quickly throw a... Weakened on him, just one. Did I answer your turn, man? Another one. Um, nope. That's, I think, all I can do right now. Probably just because the sword's blessed by Dekesis and, you know, Kiri Jolo, Dekesis, yeah. not good friends. Mm, yeah. It is the Charmed One's turn. As it walks up to beside Exodus. Oh, thank goodness. And it will take DOS swings. A th 13 and a 22 for 12, 13 damage total. Yeah, yeah that they both hit. Yep. And moving it back up top of the round. Boralis. Alright. Uh, I'd face step away. Yep, um, uh, you are also a winter. Anywhere within that ring, buddy. And Winter here gives us creature of your choice. You can see so you, you have your choice of either A or B. Who are you doing your thing to? A. A, cool. A passes, unfortunately. Not frightened of you, but confused as to how you got there. I actually can't see you. Bit of a dip. Can't see you, but yeah. Uh, you still have your entire 30 foot of movement. What do you wish to do? Uh, move back a bit here. And then can I shoot up to this, yeah. this guy? Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. 
not too high. You just can see because of that. 23 for 8 will hit. Look at that, guys. He has hit 3 for 3 so far. Amazing. Nice. Is that one kind of arrow through? It drops to the ground. Didn't it answer your turn, my man? That's it. Cool. I will swash us over to Exodus. Not looking good here. Not looking good, Brev. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was going to I was gonna go Russian to help Barnabas. I mean, Bar Barnacle. 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 He's doing better Barn than you, though. I was going to go help uh, scrolling down, just look at his name. Uh, Bar 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 Baralis. But, however, I am doing shit poor as well. So I need to take care of this guy in front of me. If I take care of, I mean, try to hit once and then run away. Um, let's go, Booming Blade. 16 for 16. 8 will hit. Sweet. Um, uh, what? He, what? He dead? What? I took 8 hit points off and was like, uh, he's dead. He ain't fucking dead. I mean, there's also another 5. Alright. But even that it, doesn't kill him. That's the thing. Damn. Uh, Sorry. Computer can't be wrong. Uh, he has five hit points left. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, of another course. fucking broken module. I mean, as well as... I mean, booming blade damage. Don't forget booming blade damage. Uh, no, no, I'm, not level, I'm not level five yet. We're level four. Uh. Uh. So I don't get 1d8. Um, but if he moves at all, then he takes the booming blade damage. If you would mark uh, him. So yeah. Then I will move. He's the, he's the charmed and not dead dead one, so don't worry. I will then move 30 feet this way and then bonus action dash. Wait. Oh, this one gets an attack of opportunity on me. You mean bonus action, action disengage? Nope. I was going to dash. I, I, did, I said it wrong. So this one guy would get a tire of opportunity on me. 17 for 7. Uh, yeah, that hits. Mm -hmm. Why does he keep marking mm. this one as dead? He's got 5 hit points left, but like... And then bonus action dash, that is that would be another 5... Yep. 25. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, she's like, I believe in you, Exodus. And then he starts booking it towards her. And then around her. <laughs> And that's <laughs> that, that's and up, the, up the trail away from her. Did I announce your turn there, man? Nope, that's it. Cool. Uh, Finn. Mm. Uh -huh. Well, he uh, once. Oh, uh, the sex team will hit. One sec, I'm sorry. I have the little thing up. 16 will hit. 16 That's great. Hit, everything else misses. Just the guy in front of me. Yep. That's good. Uh, so you're sick. Did I ask your turn? That's it. Cool. I will swim to Melano. I will bonus action move the... Um, the dust devil over here. Over where? And over here. And cast Moonfire on these two guys here. I'm going to move this one to the side because modules are not turning them invisible. The fact that it didn't even say, hey, it's not your turn. You know? No, not Mind Sleeper, Moonfire. Excuse me. Uh, one damage. And is that the double or the single? Um, what do you mean, double or single? Moonfire can affect two, so you're doing it the double yeah. or the single. Um, I you said the two. I think a two. Okay. I can do two creatures. A Nineteen passes, and these two guys here do they need to make strength saves? Um, yeah, three. I thought there was one here. He was dead. He's dead. Oh, ah, okay, the module okay. just because of the fucking update because of shit. It didn't mark him as dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, top fails. Bottom pass is now 20. So what's the damage? 1d8? Yeah, it's... 
Let me roll. For the dust devil. Four. So one at the top will take four. One at the bottom will take two. Um, and the moonfire both saved. One saved, one path. One saved, one failed. Okay. Did I answer them? Yeah, I'm gonna move. Just let me copy this down, and I'm gonna move over here, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you won't have any issue with that, so don't worry. You just gonna over without any issues. Boom, I'll move it to the Draconi in front of Renard. He will take his short sword to War Renard and then to Fane. Uh, Fane for 6 damage. Hits you for 15. Baz back here. If he will, if he meets my armor class, he still hits me? Meets it, beats it. Oh, okay. Done that rule for over a year now, and you question it every time. I'm sorry. It's all right. I just notice things. So here we'll run to Boralus. Gonna drop down as he does. Yeah, we'll jump. Short sword, swing, swing. Twenty four seven will hit. The begin at the back. You watch as his hands once more start to move on through as they do you watch it search that I want to say spark but not so much um <clears throat> I require both Bane and Renard to make for me strength saving throws DC 12 Renard, pass. Then. Mmm, saving throw. Fail, you are restrained. You watch as he puts his hand forth and it does. As a webbing comes through. Uh, he cast web, but there's no fucking thing for it because it should be on there. So, Fane, I will clap. I was going to say, I'll clap you. I won't clap you. Uh, Renard, you are just in. Um. Oh, I'm going to just have to put you... I'm going to say paralysed, but not paralysed. You are in uh, difficult terrain. Oh, good. <clears throat> Draconian back here. Well, he just has 60 foot of movement. Oh, oh, he will dash to get to here between uh, Melano and Exodus. The Baz back here will also jump down towards Boralus. A 17 will hit, a 12 will not. And we'll move it over to Renard. Oi! Let's try this guy again. <sighs> Fuck. Wait, wait. I want to use... Where is it? Let's return. Uh... Oh, you. We agreed that you'd have to use have that beforehand, but I'll give you it this time. But just this one time, this one session. Oh, you go. Uh, 13 will still miss, unfortunately. Just narrowly. Here's the thing about precise strike if it doesn't hit, I don't lose, I don't expend it. Kill, kill. And uh, just give yourself that back then. Did anyone else your turn, my guy? Well, all the people that need healed ran away. Uh, how much uh, pain? Uh, nope. That's an action. Uh, shield of Faith on Thane. As a bonus action? Shield of Faith, I. Th yep, yeah, one bonus action. Yeah, Fane, plus two at your AC. Here. And as it were, uh, ba -bum, I will quickly move it over. Can I get that booming blade damage, please, sir? Yes. Let me check if it's 2d8 or 3d8. I think it's 2d8. 
I thought it was 1d8. You know what? It's probably 1d8, but then it goes up to 2d8 at... A certain level, yeah, me... scaling. Yeah. Um, Let me, uh, fucking... I think it was... So it's this guy? 2d8 for moving. So I... Wow, it really did the attack. It really did the attack. I was just populating it so I could read it. Yep. Don't worry. Uh, um, I mean, regardless, uh, the 7 would do it, killing this fucker outright. Um, and, you know... As you all saw, he had 10, but Marx is dead. I'm going to throw him over to the side here because they're not being marked as invisible. He. You just kind of hear the ringing of the thunder. The birds seem to and fly up. Aren't they doing anything else? No, because it's not your turn. It's Boralis' turn. I am dead, Boralis. Alright. I would move 20 feet here, and then I can use Hail of Thorns as my bonus action. Yeah, you do invoke two opportunity of attacks. Uh, yeah. A 20 for 2, and a fail, so don't worry. You take 2 damage, but yeah, you can invoke uh, Thorns. I'm going to write down the damage for that as well. Uh, Dex 11. Damage 9. Heal of Thorns. And if you want to go ahead and roll the attack. A 14 just hits and as it does 14 for 6 will go in but ha both of these guys need to make dexterity saving throws uh, he passes and the top one passes but they still take half damage to my knowledge um yep so they both take four additional damage there we go. did anyone else your turn my man no solid play exodus Alright. I am um, um Sorry I was chewing. Um I move fifteen here. Yep. I go to booming blade him. Alright. Thirteen for five will miss. Alright. I ain't trying to be funny by the way, but I think booming blade's gonna make the attack for you. Yeah, you just hit booming blade. Um all right, let me. I'll add that to my sheet next round. All right, so I moved fifteen here. I'll move another fifteen away. And then I'll bonus action dash. Yep. Get me the fuck out of here. All right, that is my turn. Gotcha. Uh... I didn't even notice these two fuckers over here. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, Booming Blade is actively better. <laughs> Booming Blade is uh, plus four. Your main attack is plus three. Booming Blade is better. What are you talking about? Been a hit. That's you're, casting boom. You're to hit, you're plus to hit with the rapier is one d twenty plus three. You're to hit with the Booming Blade is one d twenty plus four. It's the same two hit. Well, that well, the numbers are different here, sir. Okay. Oh no no. I, I know what's going on. Maybe. Finn, you are. It, it's out. yeah. I think it's because of my um, hex blade. That's what it. It, it just looks different. Same. As a bonus action, I would like to strike. Yeah. So that's uh, just negative two to your attack on that one. A negative two to my attack. You're restrained. No, because he's making oh. a. Bonus action attack, which loses its proficiency. Ah, uh, does. Yeah. Monks get it as a bonus action with flurry of blows. But to my knowledge, Dun Dun is gonna crack on. Board. No, I was able to attack as a bonus action just because it was a. That's just what my martial arts says. With flurry of blows. I oh, can if take your if your martial Fleury. arts letting you, if your martial arts letting you, but go ahead then, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll look into that. For Fleury. Sure. Yeah, flurry of blows was I take flurry of blows <laughs> as my bonus action, and I get two more attacks. Yeah. So I take my attack and two more. Yeah, yeah. On you go. Okay. Just oh. that. That's a thirteen hit. Thirteen misses, unfortunately. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Boom, 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 boom. My fault. Yeah. There you go, man. We're good. 
slight variations in the rule piss me off. Mm -hmm. To be honest, nah, we'll save it. So yeah, you are also in difficult terrain. Uh, Web, if I'm not mistaken, is uh, 20 foot. Correct me if I'm wrong. D uh, difficult terrain does not affect me. Fucking hate mobile. Max. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, mobile. <laughs> completely glossed over the mobile bar part and blamed it on the fact he's a fucking monk. Yeah. But yeah, uh, you're not restrained. You have full fucking movement. <laughs> and if you wish, you can make that secondary attack, my guy. Um, for my flurry of blows? If you have a key point to spend. I do. Might as well. <laughs> 17 for 11 will hit. Um, ah, oh, yeah, it's I remember why I like some of these modules, they give you the hit points. So you get another uh, boom boom, get another singular attack, who knows. No I don't, uh, because I used my action to get out of the web. I was restrained starting this round. My flurry of blows just let me have two more attacks as my bonus action. Prevented you taking the attack action prior. Yeah. Oh, it does it. Just yeah. forget the 17 then, I'll add the key point back to me. Okay, the bar. Then I will fire over to Melano. Um, I will move. Uh, no, sorry. I will move this over here. Give me my key back. Okay. Just double out the room. Uh, <laughs> and move twenty-five. It's twenty feet over here. Still, um, doing this one. I'll cast Chaos Bolt on him. Oh, I fucking hate this one. On you go. <laughs> it's one of these exploding dice things. A 10 will miss, unfortunately. Okay. Did I announce your turn? I guess move 10 more feet. Okay, okay. Then I will smash us over to the Draconian in front of Renard and Fane. Uh, Fane then Renard. Fane 21, Did Renard make 23. the saving throw? It's not on him. Oh, just a few feet shy? Okay. Yeah, it's between them, but it shows it on two. Uh, 21, so... Who did I say first? I said Fane first, didn't I? Yeah, you said yeah. Fane 21, Renard 2. Fane, you take two damage. Renard, crit or nine, you get a fucking nat 20, and it's nine. I get a nat 20, and it's death. Just my luck. <clears throat> Eat Baj Draconian here, who has... Moved on through, well, runneth up towards Boralus, between Boralus and, I was about to say Fane, but Exodus. As it does, running short sword in one hand, brings it up towards Exodus. As it misses, it's going to take to another hand and swings towards Boralus, and uh, 19 for 3 on Boralus. Why do these guys hit so hard? I'm scared now, guys. I'm actually scared. You watch mm. as the Bozak kind of takes his trident as he does, rolls it up and just throws it straight forward towards Renard. You're going to watch it, he just misses and gets caught up in the web. He's just going to seem to snarl and take a small step forward. Bash Draconian back here. Oh, he's a bit of a fucking sticky pickle, isn't he? Oh, he can't do too much unless he goes this way. But that's a dash to get there. So he will dash to get there and can't do much else. Dash regardless. Okay. <clears throat> this one here will walk up towards Exodus. And as he does, short sword in hand, will try to gutturally stick it in before swiping up once more. As he sweeps up, uh, catches you. I Just would see like to yeah. cast shield. Oh, baby. Hello, baby. Both you and the dog came up, so that gives you a plus five to your AC, which now means it misses. Ooh, hell yeah. Yeah, he just hit my guy. Hell yeah. Renard. Alright. I gotta do something, but I'm gonna 
I know he gets opportunity attack, but I want to go here. And Miss. confront this guy. I am going to use this time my precise strike. Yep. Which gives you advantage on the strike. Gives me advantage on this. 14 does not hit. Oh. This guy's slightly strong. He's going to bring it in, and as you do, you watch it just misses. There are millimeters between the sword tip and this guy's armor. Hmm. Alrighty. Is anything else you're talking about, Matt? Uh, let's see. I've done an action. Bonus action. Nope. <clears throat> okay. Then I will swift it over to Boralis. Stand in front of you, one ugly motherfucker. Standing just behind him, one ugly motherfucker. And off to your right, a third ugly motherfucker. One of these is considered friendly. Um. Alright. Uh, I'll attack him with a long sword. Yeah. No, a I won't. 16 will, I? will hit for oh. a total of 5 damage. You're going to bring that in. And as you do. Did I ask your turn, my man? Moving away. Oh, well, well, well no. Because it'll do the attack of opportunity, right? You move away without disengaging, which is an action. Uh, you risk taking an opportunity of attack, yeah. Ah, uh, stuff it. Why not? It's funny. <laughs> I'm going miles most, away. Most passive response is funny. Yeah. <clears throat> and you do. Short sword comes in, misses name five. Did I answer your turn, my guy? No. Kill. Sure. Exodus. Clown to the left of you. Clown to the right. What are you doing? I stuck in the middle with you oh, honey. as a bonus action disengage yeah, yeah. and I let and you what sorry you broke up oh I bonus action disengage and then I fucking leg it ah stand up response get here right mm -hmm. and then I will action dash alright I don't have to. I don't have to outrun them. I just have to outrun. I <laughs> <laughs> don't need to outrun the bear. I need to outrun the camera, man. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Ben, <laughs> what? Where, where did? Morales. I'm sorry, no. Uh, Where did Renard go? He's just in front of you. Okay, okay. <laughs> he was just beside me. He was gonna go. Now. 12 okay. will miss. 17 for 6 will hit, though. And an 8 will miss. Okay, I love that. Yep. Didn't know your turn, my man? Uh. Come into the sticky goo with me, sir. That's all. <laughs> Kill. Uh, opportunity attack will miss. I'll move over to oh, the middle. Oh, no, sir. He can't. He oh, can't, yeah. He can't. Uh, I keep forgetting. Right. Takes me a minute. Mobile feet. <laughs> Melanie, right. stand in front of you. One ugly motherfucker. Yeah, I would like to cast Tasha's Mind Whip on him. Never seen this one used before. So let's see. A intelligent saving throw. Fun fact about these guys. Not very intelligent. He fails, he takes 11 Sikak damage. And does it do anything else, or does it just take psychic damage? Psychic damage, and it can't take a reaction till the end of its next turn, and on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of the three. Cool. So, I can move away! Bye! No problem. <laughs> Without you can an attack of opportunity. You're gonna lance it in the mind, and... Start making your way back towards your good friend Exodus. Do not else your turn? Um, yeah, bonus action. No, yeah, I can, I can do that. I would like to move the thing wherever the... I think you I need to it. see where it goes. Yeah. I can move it third. Let me just read 
double check how how far I can move it. I think it's up to 30 feet. 30 feet in any direction, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just move it here. I'm, I may not see anything, I'm just moving it in a random direction. You want me to swipe it off? Um, <clears throat> I'm just saying, does it say, uh, just so I know for future as well, because I don't want to say you can't do that when you can. Um, up to 30 feet in any direction, you don't need to see it. So you're just going to swipe it off back down south, don't announce your turn. Um, I moved, I bonus actioned, I actioned, so no. No, no, okay, 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 then I will fire over um, to uh, ba bars, 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 ba bars, ba bars, ba bars, ba he will take a step in, and as he does, uh, he does have to make a strength saving throw to my knowledge, because that's how web works. It'd be really nice if they gave us the thing, but they didn't. He makes it, so dun dun dun, this t t 10, 20, he's used also 5 to get in, which makes 25. Which means he gets up to Fane, who did say follow me, so, you know, he's hungry. He will swipe for a 12, which will miss. He will nap one, which will absolutely fucking fail. So we'll move it over to this one here as you watch as he hops the tree. As he does. Uh, thematically, it makes sense that it's here because there's a cart in the road. And while he gets stuck, I wonder, saving throw, he will get stuck. <laughs> Uh, no, my swipe and a swipe. A 20 and an 18 both hit for 10 total damage. Onto our boy Finn. I'm about to die. Pinned up behind this cart. Taken it on both ends. The <clears throat> Bozak here. See when you throw your trident, it makes it really hard. <laughs> he will take his lightning as he does he watches he cracks his hand in front of you and as he does that is a disadvantage but a 14 lightning damage in 1914 so it kind of comes in smashes it onto he's gonna start laughing cackling in your face bash the corner up north uh e4 of fate He straight mm -hmm. runs. He hears the crackling. Got a disadvantage on the nineteen. <laughs> yes, yeah, fucking be. A, only got a plus four, by the way. Only got a plus four. That one here runs south. This one here, he takes a looky looky loo. Yeah, sprints towards Bralis. Sword in hand. Can't do too much else. Renard. Oh. Well, I'm going to do it again with the guided strike. Precise strike, sorry. Still have two since I can't seem to hit with it. Yeah, here you go. And I still can't hit with it. A 14 just misses, I'm afraid. On the up hand, yeah. you're constantly getting this thing back. On the downside, failing everybody. <laughs> Guys, remember to remember to uh, have me buy potions whenever we get oh, back. Uh, really quick, can I also have a concentration save from you? A con save. Shield of Faith is concentration. I've only just I didn't write that part down, but I wrote everything else down. So uh, DC's ten, still up. You're good. Uh, I'm not gonna do it for every other one. I've already been doing it. Yeah, did it. Now's your time. Um, nope, that's it. Okay, slapping myself around for not being able to hit anything. Brallus, what an ugly fucker in front of you. A teammate being pinned up and ravished on the other side. Two teammates running north. What's the play? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a move 25 feet here, and he'll do the thing, right? He can take it or leave it. What do you mean? 
as in it's my choice whether or not it does or doesn't. Ah. Whilst, whilst you can take the opportunity to attack, you, you know, whilst I as a DM can make it take an opportunity to attack, I can also say it has better uses for its reaction. Alright. And then hit for him. The first miss of the night from Boralus. So you're going to fire off and arrow goes wibbly wobbly to the other side. Didn't it off your turn, my man? Um, does that? Oh no, it doesn't because the Hail of Swords doesn't work if I miss, does it? Good fucking question. I think you need to hit for Hail of Thorns. Um, next time you hit a creature, yeah. Okay. However, yep. you still have five rounds of it, so. Hmm. Alright, that's it. I did say as well, because uh, of what you said, if you need to jump, man, when you go up and play it, I did send you to snap. Uh, oh, alright, okay. Right, okay, I'll do that then. Uh, don't worry, I've, I've got you. Don't worry, mate. Right, cheers. Catch you, mate. You need stuff, you know how it is, but I did say it him. And he did message me. Exodus! Alright, um... I will take out my short bow. Yeah, yeah. And I will unleash an arrow upon this. Uh, which one seems more injured? This one or this one? I mean, uh, sorry. This one or this one? I'd say make an insight check. Alright. Definitely the one closer to the south. Southern one is. He's in a very precarious situation. He also does not look too good. All right, then let me just make sure he is in within the distance of the short bow. 45 feet. I believe it's 60. Let me check. He's also restrained. Uh, so give me a sec, because oh. that might do something. Uh, restrained creature zero. Yeah, um, it, you have advantage on the attack because he is restrained. Sweet. Let me check that out. Good thing I needed it. Do it. <laughs> Good thing. Two sevens. <sighs> Love to see it. If only that damage had been a seven. <laughs> Don't know, it's your turn, my man. <laughs> Sorry, you would yell, like, and then you would also move as Melanie. And then I like to bonus action hide. Uh, roll self check. So you are hiding down. Uh, I will then move over to Fane. Fane! I would like to let you know every bit of damage that I'm doing is acid. Alright. Hey. Still attacking the guy in front of me because it's important that he goes dead first. Miss. Miss. Love that. <laughs> it just gets <laughs> worse and worse. We're all gonna die because we can't seem to roll a fucking. These guys are getting such a low CR. The fuck, man. And anything else for your turn, my guy? We just can't hit anything. <laughs> no. It doesn't right. even matter if we're fighting a rat. If we can't hit it, we just can't hit it. <laughs> Melanor. Um, this one is in the web, or this one is restrained? Uh, you can very easily tell the one at the bottom. Southern most is restrained. Okay. I would like to send a, a guiding bolt at it. With advantage. An 18 for 13 is the overkill that we needed. As it... Yay! Boops, hits and goes down, yeah. if you watch it. Crumples, folds like a deck chair. Did anyone else your turn? Move my... Does devil over here. This is where shit gets precarious. It's speed is zero, and it can't benefit from bonus speed. Disadvantage on dexterity saves. Okay. So, uh, strength saves are fine. Just had to make sure that one to be safe. It will make the strength save three uh, roll the damage. Okay. Oh, does devil don't consume my spell slot. And that damage was a two. 
But two yeah. is better than nothing. Did yep. I ask your time? Um, I'll move behind Exodus, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. That's me. Then flying over to a bass. He will take a swang at Fain and a swang at Fain. He will only hit once a nat 20 for a total of four. It's <laughs> 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 nat 20s ain't down too good, yo. There's <clears throat> the one in front of you on our once more. That's the crackle. It's hands. So it does what else can the spucker do? I wonder to myself. Each and every day. As it looks at you, and as it does, its hand seems to vanish before. It just vanishes in front of you. As it does, however, you do kind of feel this passing gesture. You can make an opportunity of attack would be at disadvantage, but you can perceive that something has moved past you. Well, I didn't want to have to do that. I'll probably hit with this. <laughs> disadvantage is two nat 20s. <laughs> <laughs> ain't even, that ain't even funny. <laughs> you swing and a mess on the wrong side. <laughs> One here. Uh, all right. So it had. Uh, what is it? Is there anything now? It took its. It done movement, and then has it got like disadvantage or something here? So can't take a reaction until its next turn. Moreover, kill. Um, bonus action. One of the three. All right. So he is technically a freedom of thoughts. <clears throat> In that case, and he will walk up to yourself, Bernard, and he will take two swipes at you. Uh, both will completely fucking miss. Which Bozak is it now? It says Bozak, that's Bozo. He won't. Follow up on the choices here. So he's of his forefathers, his friends, and take a swing. Sw he will take two swings at Melano because Exodus. Where's Exodus, guys? Uh, 17 for 3 will hit, the other one will miss. Taking that off, Renard. I use shield. Pop it up, burn the spot. Come on, I clicked it. Uh, I'm, I'm just asking you to pop it up to burn the spot. I just took off health real quick. Uh, so your AC with mage armor is currently 14, 14 plus, plus 5, 5 is 19. Makes 19, so yep. Put that 4 strip. Yep, wait, put that 3 strip back on you, sorry. Boom, boom, boom. And then move it over. Renard, yeah, there you go. A 22, 4, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Well, outright. Fuck it up, Kenneth. As he nice. drops to the ground like a sack of potato. And I'll move him over to the pile of the dead. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Alright. Because you are still in the web. Okay, um, I think you pass, he says. Uh, this one here, dun 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 dun. You pass, I need another strength saving throw. That's devil. Yep. Alright. You pass, uh, what was the damage on the dust devil again? I, mm. Two, you take a whole <laughs> one. No, oh. I just delete Renard. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> so I know exactly where you were in the initiative. Don't worry. Wow, it put you right. I put me at the bottom. It rolled the same thing. I didn't have a three before. Well, it doesn't matter. I had a four. I was still after that other thing. Uh, see, I was trying to take your health off there. Uh, twenty-one. Uh. Cool, and you are still up. Did I ask your turn, my friend? Um, uh, da, 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 da. 
Nope. I uh, used those. Let's see. I moved. So I attacked. That's it. Chill. Then, Boralus taking a look around. Hmm. <clears throat> Knowing full well that his next th his next movements could fuck things over for people. Uh, well, he will have been tracking that one. He will nod at Renard because he knows Renard's got this and he will run round the tree to the other end shoot longsword in hand and as he does will swipe up at the draconian and will just miss Exodus oh, no. you are still hidden oh yeah <clears throat> I will do it yeah, hell yeah. I'm gonna see this guy next to me. I'm gonna reach out at Oh, fuck, I have my bow out. Um, I'll shoot this one, because I don't I don't want to put down my bow. Yep, uh, would be an advantage. Uh, there's no idea there. Sweet. I will... Oh, I have such a headache. Um, oh, don't need... baby, a critical. I... Sneak attack. Don't need it. Alright. Straight up fucks it over. Let's watch another one falls in front Fain. Uh, with baited breath. Also, I'll <laughs> yep. disengage to just move a little bit. Here, yep. and that's it. Strength check. Uh, strength save, sorry. Oh, I didn't I didn't see the web. Sorry. Sorry. And uh, also, there's also the dust, the, the dust devil here, so you still need a double strength. If it would, I, would I be able to see this? Yes, very much. I mean, the dust devil is a mini tornado, basically. And the web oh, no, is I, literal webs. I wouldn't have moved here if I could just move one back, like here. Give it to you. There's there's, there's, right, there's nothing that changes in that whole dynamic. So yeah. All right. Did I ask you? Oh, no, that's it. Kill. Fain. Mm hmm? You are up, my friend. I don't see anybody but him. Nope, they're dead. Um, I don't see anybody. Over here, why not? That one. You said what? That Bozak is around here somewhere. He's invisible. Hmm. Uh, do I have something to help with that? Wait. Can we, can we, the dust devil is like, let me. Um. If the dust ma devil moves over sand, dust, loose dirt or light gravel, it sucks out the material. It forms a 10-foot radius cloud of debris around itself that lasts until it's after your next turn. Okay, never mind. It's the start of my next turn. Mm. <clears throat> do, do, do. This is some epic curry in music. Exodus is also like quickly getting something for a headache, so like you know. Read in an Ian McKellen like voice, if you wish. I um Bane's just going to Hmm. Okay, so this is if I fail it. Okay, um So Seeming that that may be the only one left, Fan's gonna say, "Come out now, and you can avoid the same Fan as your friends here." And I want to mean that as intimidation, saying, "Through the threat of death, if we find him, he's going to die. But if he comes out now and gives himself up, he can avoid that." Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll give you an intimidation check on that one, my friend. Okay. If he uh. When he rolls against that, and if I do fail, I can roll it again. Failed. I you, failed it. You failed, okay. yeah. 
you get to re-roll immediately after, or...? Uh, they said, it, yeah, it says, if I fail. So then roll again. Love that. <laughs> Double fails. <laughs> you hear from out back, behind the tree. <laughs> out back behind the tree. To the north, I feel I should say. The north is this way? Yeah. This way, yeah. Unless it's our way, this is almost north. Okay, I'm gonna run this way. Oh. oh. Birth, you see what you see. 25. Oh. I'm, I'm saying he just makes it. This man's got 60 foot of movement. He makes it regardless. I'm gonna help you guys deal with him. Uh, one, two, three. Good. It hits on the seven. I absolutely love the miss, miss, miss. Oh, how do you do it? Please tell me. No, I don't know. And armor is it was so hard for you to miss, and now all you're doing here is miss. I have a plus <laughs> five to hit. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you. I'm gonna die to your turn, my guy. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. No, but don't forget the dart. The dart is not here. Imagine a dart hitting and doing more damage. <laughs> Melanor. Mm -hmm. Bonus action move the dust. Like, where uh, whereabouts did I hear the noise? Never. Right next to you. Ah. I guess I'll put it here. Fane was gonna run up here and breathe fire, but you guys were in the way. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess I'll... How hurt does this guy look? Gonna see an insight track. Why are you laying has, like that? He yeah. has definitely been better. Being through the ringer is... He's hurting. Mm. Not as bad as y'all, but he's hurting. I'll... cast... this on him, I guess, again. He fails, naturally. And Yay. boom. And then he just stands here like an idiot, can't take a reaction or such, so yeah. Yeah. You didn't make your turn. I'm gonna move away. Back over here. Do anything else? Um no. Okay. Swap it over to <clears throat> my invisible friend. He's all gonna hear the stomping through the woods. This constant <laughs> clattering and clamoring. As it does, you watch. <clears throat> it's from in front of you, Finn. He watches a lightning bolt once more. It flies forward. As it does, however, you watch. As it takes the draconian in front, hits him. You watch this once more. The big one apparates. Weakness <laughs> will not be tolerated. <laughs> in Takesha's army. You watch as it riles once more, firing off second discharge to yourself. 16 for 9, which I believe well, hit. misses. Oh, where <coughs> is he? Bernard. Where did he appear? Uh, you see what you see. I see that guy. He's there. Do I have a key point for him? Oh, yeah. Bernard, you hear this from directly <coughs> in front of you. 
And you are also not restrained. Mm, I, do. I do. I do have a key point for you. 20 foot is the maximum you can do to the difficult terrain, but you come here. Um, you see a Boralus. You see a Fane. You see a dead draconian smoking. Any more idea where he came from? I can't see anything. Mm. Any idea where he's at? You too, Boralus, Fane. Point's gonna hit. Point's gonna. Sh I mean, uh, Fane's gonna point dead to the head. Boralus is gonna point towards the tree and then gonna duck his finger inwards so that, you know, he's a little indented. Not not dead ahead this way. It's like dead ahead diagonally. Like over Oot. this way? Yeah, yeah they're, 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 you're actually tapped exactly where you're <laughs> oh. I can't see through the tree, so I can't do anything. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Um, I couldn't get... Could I, that's as far as I can move? Yeah, because uh, you had that five foot in the difficult terrain. All right. I'm going to do lay on hands. Ten to me and ten on what I can get the fame. Mm, I think you can only do it because it's an action. You'd have to use it one on you and then on your next turn, one on someone else type. Gotcha. <clears throat> ten on Barala then. Yep. I'll smack a ten on yep. her, her boy. <clears throat> Then I'll ask you come again. Um. Nope. That's it. Okay. Then uh, I'll roll publicly for Boralus because that's the right proper thing to do. Boralus, who is also happy with himself, firstly thanks you for the little heal. Looks directly at the Draconian. You watch. As he fires his hand outwards. And watches rasping veins come up through the ground towards the draconian. As he does, you watch as he is ensnared. And you have any idea how much of a I wanted to rip the piss and go he uses a legendary reaction. <laughs> but no, I'm not <laughs> gonna do that to you. Oh. <laughs> It'd be an absolute dick move, but it'd be so funny. But I'm not going to do that. He is restrained and in the entangle. I can't even, man. <laughs> I get advantage if I hit him while he's restrained, right? Yeah, everyone does. He's restrained. And he is right dead in the center of it as well. I'm going to go over there and touch his forehead as soon as it's my turn. <laughs> Exodus. Well done. Sorry about that. Yet? I am here. He's I will, and I don't angle. Right, I don't see him currently, so I'm gonna have to move. Uh, fifteen. I still don't see him. Other fifteen. I don't see him. Wow, everyone's moving away. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, that's also drops the hit. One minute kill. Uh, didn't announce your turn. I. I... I mean, I thought he was over here. Is he not over here? Does it look like he's over there? I mean, no, but I just didn't know if there was a problem with the token. I guess yep. if I just don't see anything, I guess that's just my turn. Ah, uh, Finn. Hey there, buddy. Um, this time, why not switch it up a little bit? This is where he starts throwing darts because they done arguably better. <laughs> I can't, I can't throw three darts at the same time. If I could, I would, but we're gonna run in here. Have no key points left. I have one, don't I? I just checked. You've, you've done a flurry of blows prior there. <laughs> yeah, but I'm taking them off every time. You had one part of that. Yeah, I took that one away too. No, but like. On my side, when I looked at your sheet, you had one, and then you flurried a blood. Oh, so that's not correct. Okay. Let me take that away. 
I do require the strength save from you because though you don't get stuck by difficult terrain, you still can be restrained. Mm. Saving throw? Yeah. Love that. Mm. Um, I, just was, I just thought this was difficult terrain. Oh no, the two uh, strength! Grasping <laughs> A creature in the area when you cast a spell must do that. Restrained and tangled till then. Creature restrained. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought this was. Never I mind. I knew this spell. Never mind. Okay. So, me, I. On you go, my friend. Apologies. Okay. Should I just throw a dart? <laughs> Actually, I get advantage. Hold on. Oh, well, yeah, advantage on both of them, my friend. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Miss. Last burst, same as the first. Oh my god. Did anyone else your time? I can't. No, that's all. I'm going to be. No, no. You know, only one of my attacks hit so far. Uh, you're the new paralysis. I think the same for me. Okay, I see it. Yep. Um... I'm moving the dust devil right next to it. Okay, uh, I'm just reading this as well to make sure. Yeah, use. Yeah, you don't even get difficult terrain walking over this. Use are all fine to just walk in and out as you please. I think. Oh, did I have a check on this? Um, his mm. dexterity throws at advantage, at disadvantage. Somehow strength is fine. Uh, fails. Yay. Um, <laughs> what is this a dexterity saving throw? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's dex save, so uh, he fails regardless. <laughs> I've done it, else you turn there. You know, oh, I can't oh. do much else. I, um, I guess I'll just move a little bit backwards. I don't know where is he is. Is that for one or two creatures? One. Thought I'd try to catch you off guard. Failed miserably. Don't know what else you don't get. da kakakonian. At least I gave him a little bit of hurt. Pardon me. Well, to Fane, he watches the lightning crackles in his hands once more. Yeah. <laughs> off to Fane. 16 will miss. You watch as the same one fires off onto yourself as well. Uh, to Boralus, six, two, three, half a dozen. Hits Boralus on a 14 for damage. Con save on top of that. Passes the con save and Tangle still holds. Renard! Hmm. Doesn't work. Well, Alright, I guess I'm going to move till I can see it. I was gonna say, can he not attack? Says, While restrained? Is it not? Um, rules is written, unless it specifically says it restrains your hands. Your hands are free and you're restrained by your legs. Mm, you're right. It's just the, the attack rules have disadvantage. Because within five foot and uh, three quarters cover. I don't remember all the rules, but the ones good. I do remember. That's not where I wanted to go. Oh, fuck. Miss. Miss, unfortunately. Gone. Did I ask your turn, my man? Nope. Hmm. Also, I was not expecting not to be able to eat a full fucking <laughs> Uh, Boralus will do that thing, um, rather cheeky thing. <laughs> he will take a step out, because he no longer has Hail of Thorns on. He will fire at the Draconian. He will miss, and, well, he'll just you know, peek back in, because disadvantage better than nothing. He'll also point to Exodus and make him aware of the exact location of the Draconian. 
Ah, you, you nod. You, you kind of got it from uh, Mel Melanie. But he, he nods in appreciation and moves a little bit, 15 feet to line up his shot a bit better. Um, let's let's see it. Hold on. Uh, what's up, what's up doing that? Um, yeah. Uh, bum, bum. Boom. Gone. Webbing. Well, will miss. <laughs> Darn. Oh, so, no. yeah, the 12 misses. Um, I didn't have advantage because he's invisible, right? He's restrained. He's right, restrained, so yeah. it was. I'm clicking on your token and I can't see him though. Wait, Renard also gets adva advantage then. Oh, yep, shit, Renard, do you want to put that 10 to a. Uh, also, advantage? Hunter's Mark? Oh, shit. Or, or is, is the Hunter's Mark on that guy? I still missed. Uh, Hunter's Mark uh, only... Yeah, it only applies to any yeah. attacks that Renard makes that hit. Which is so far been oh, done, unfortunately. Oh. And I think Hunter's Mark's gonna run out soon? No, Hunter's Mark's that one that lasts an hour. Uh, Wait, yeah. Uh, is you he, can move is it as a bonus action to the guy and you know exactly where he is, even if he turns invisible. I think. Yep. Keep us right on these uh, things. Fucking ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. Excess, I can't see him clicking on your token, so I don't know where you saw him from. I didn't. That's why I asked you where he oh. was, and you said, if you don't see him, you don't see him. Yeah, but then Boralis gave you the specific instructions at the end of his turn, exactly where he was. And then I pinged Right, him. I assumed that he was just invisible still. And that's why I didn't no, see you, him. You can see the ensnares as well. That's something you're able to see. Cause the, the wording I'm looking for here is because of the template. So you can actually see the moving veins and such. Oh, okay. So I can actually see him. No, you can't see him because of the tree. Mm -hmm. but, but you know where he is because you know, firstly, he's restrained. Secondly, you've been given direct specific instruction to where he is. And thirdly, you know what's restraining him and you can see what's restraining him. So based off of all of that, you can pinpoint an exact location. Okay, then I... Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my turn, right? Or is that, I mean, do I have advantage? You didn't, you, like, you, you can't see him, but you still have, like, you know, bonus action dash and such that can get you in there. Uh, stepping in there is not going to count as difficult terrain. You're not going to be ensnared either, because that's how Entangle works. You just need to be careful of the dust devil. Yeah. Right. I'll just move here then. Bonus action. I mean, that's you using 10 foot. You've got the 30 foot of movement, my guy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, these, I'm getting weird shadows. I was getting weird shadows that, like, covered half the screen here onward. Yeah, I was um, getting that as well. That's probably because of the amount of fucking trees, mate. So that's yeah, why I'm, I did. I'm pinging him nonstop. Yeah. So I'm, or... I'll move, uh, try to move here. Yeah. The tree on, uh, might fuck you, but you can just... extra feet. That bonus action yeah. dash, I'll move here. There he is. Yeah. Yay. Weird shadows to streets. Uh, I can only apologize. It's okay. I thought he was invisible. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Okay. Finn. <coughs> Finn. 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 Hey, okay. Sorry, I was not serious. Sorry about that. Temptation to shout Lou. <laughs> Lou! Where'd you go? I was eating pizza. I was eating curry. Oh, now, I'm now I'm hungry. I'm gonna make myself something to eat after we're done. Hello, buddy. Hi. Are you talking me? His Good name too. is not. 21 will hit for four. Four. And you do technically have advantage, so you can crit fish. I will. Well, these 16. 16 hits. So you do a total of 15 hearty damages. The type doesn't matter. There's no resistances or immunities to overcome here. You can have boom, nice. two at the face. Did I announce your turn, my friend? That would be it. Yeah. I don't know. <clears throat> I'll move backward. 
over here again. Yeah. Dust Wait. Devil stays where it is. And I'll Chaos Bolt it. Bolt the, the guy. Oh, just remember, if this one jumps, it hits Fane. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, you hurl. I hate this one so much that it reads. Energy, make a ranged spell attack against the target. It takes 2d8 plus 1d6 damage. Choose on one of the d8s the number that is rolled. So, um, 8 thunder. thunder. And then if you rolled two 8s... Um, Acid and thunder. That's more the jump, uh, which it doesn't need to do. Uh, 15 hotties, as it does. Does yes. Fane! No! I require a dexterity saving throw. This is the second time that she's hit me with a spell. It's not that, I'm afraid. The Conan, as you watch as it takes this, watch it slowly starts to wither. As it does, the flesh shrivels away, and then the body explodes. As you jump out the road just in time, body is gone. You take no additional damage. As it does. Oh, I can't, I can't believe we lived through that. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> Do you know what else I can't believe? It took so long. I yeah. mean, we missed a lot. <laughs> As yes. Fuck shit up, standing here in the middle. Now, derelict and empty forest. Does anyone want to take like a 10 minute break now? Yes. I feel yeah. we oh, need that. Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking yes. intense. It was. That was only 10 rounds. Hey, hi. So, real quick one here. Um, You may have noticed that potentially over the past while there, a few things have gone missing from the channel. Um, Don't worry. Uh, those are campaigns that, you know, I need to restart or are completely removing. See Citadel, The Unseen Sun. Uh, I'm going to wait till I get the actual physical books for that. Uh, White Plum Mountain, I'm going to rerun that with some new people just because of timing. Same with Demon Queen Awakens as well as that. I know I ran that a little wrong as I updated and it broke a few things. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> hope you've been enjoying Dragonlance. Uh, we have a quick update in regards to that. So, I have been learning the lore for Dragonlance, as you may have heard and watching. And... A lot of my party have expressed kind of wanting to know a little more. Uh, Dragonlance is huge and expansive, so... Yeah. I will... I've already made the maps for this one. And I'm going to get on to making the maps for this original. This threw me, by the way. <laughs> As all the maps are... Oh, that one's fucking useless. <laughs> Green screen. All maps are 3D, and therefore unusable. So, I'll be remaking maps, and I will also be on the hunt for uh, the further 10 of this one, as this is only number 2. And this is a DM skilled reprint of number 1. Anyway. Let's get back to this Dragonlands, shall we? I will say with no, multiple bodies. <laughs> I love how exactly one minute has passed in game since she's got into that fight. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to Foundry? It's, it's oh, I had to enable a few modules so that way dead bodies start hiding in combat when they die and I can move Whoa. them. Gotcha. Okay. So now I'm waiting. <clears throat> waiting. Fane's going to give their camp a nice little search. Loot time. Nice search. Everything there is. I'll do the loot this time. Right, uh, what are you saying there, John? So I'm going to take that trident that son of a gun threw at me. Ah, uh, well, the trident is still there um, for it, so you can. If you wish to take that, I will say you can take that. No, I was going to say there's a, there's still a guy back here, but then I forgot that he just piled up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything here is dead. It's just in case I ever run this module again. Um, I'm not... It's like... Uh, I've got a bunch of guys that want to do Descent to Avernus. 
And whilst I can do Descent to Avernusum, my only issue is I then need to go through all the maps and put every fucking enemy down again. Because <laughs> you you guys all killed it. Because I didn't have a module that turned them invisible or shit. So ah. when combat was done and I'd awarded experience, I deleted all the dead bodies. Uh. Yeah. It's probably um. why Foundry gives you margins, but I'm just like, fuck the margins. When um we were staying at the uh I'm like, I just wanna call that a villa. Farmhouse, was yeah. You were staying there initially. For a week. What are we eating and drinking? Your rations. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. If you're out of rations, I would say because you've only just brought this up, um, I will say you've had some successful hunts and were able to Hunt and forage because Baralis is um, very good at the survivals. <laughs> Hold on one sec. It's not as good as it could be, but he's good. <laughs> I also have fishing equipment so I can fish. Um, right. And that's, you know, they probably even had food there. They had to be eating something. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, there would be enough that you could burn through your rations and food there without, you know, without me going, oh, fuck this whole session. We've got to roll it back on the phone to Ben. Like, big man, what did you do? <laughs> I was just curious. I was just curious. All right. Thank you. All right. Time to uh, search the camp. I'll check. Are there any bodies left? So we can check for loot? All either exploded or turned to dust. They turned okay. to dust. I completely forgot about your death thors on the dusty ones, though, so you know, they'll just be optional. <laughs> yeah. I guess we'll go check the. That, that word is thrown. In the weirdest turn of events, you watch and listen as you hear a. <laughs> As it does, <laughs> Fane, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. I wouldn't do that. I'd give you a chance. <laughs> yeah, uh, roll an investigation check. Okay. I'll help right. with guidance. Oh, you'll help me? Thank you. With guidance. So, advantage plus 1d4. Advantage plus one. Okay. She helped and gave guidance. Technically speaking, one round is six seconds. So, you know, you're not in combat, so she can do it. Okay. You fucking need it. What the hell? <laughs> you really need the advantage. Oh, what's going on, John? I don't know. All I've got is a gray screen. I'm trying to Plus, log back on. Get, the give a bit of time as well. Don't worry. If there's anything you want to do, I can roll for you. Um, yeah. you find so you find yourself in the boxes all manner of provision. It's very clear that these, you know, these guys have been attacking these carts and stealing food. There is a fair amount of food here. Some of it has spoiled just due to the nature of the food. Some of it is still quite fine, such as dried meats, nuts, uh, certain fruits. For the most part, uh, you reckon there's about 15 days worth of rations. If you, were mm. to, if you were to set and prepare it all into actual ration packets, if you will. Um, anybody want rations? Yeah, sure. I mean, there's enough for everyone for a few days. <laughs> yeah. So, one, two, three, four... So the five party members. So I'd like three rations for each. Three rations each. You said three rations each? Yeah, three days worth each. Okay. Certain amount of rations to three instead of five. Um, okay, I think it's uh, I think it's well time to make it back to the city. Yeah, I hurt. I hurt a lot. Can we can we do that? Can we prepare the rations over a long I mean sorry, a short rest? Yeah. That's not an issue at all. Chill, chill at the... Uh... My tool proficiency... I have a tool proficiency in artisan's tools. And he's not even an art professor. What can I do with those? 
artificer stuff. Artists yeah, and tools. Gonna... Artists and tools are quite literally for artificers. I'm gonna change that. Uh, take a rest. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, 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 roll the boat. Glad to be all made that on the stream. Merly, 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 merly. Life is but a dream. No, it's not. It's a fucking nightmare. Rolling in my skin is ones that will not heal. Well, uh... Yep, he's all take a quite, quite short rest by the well-prepared camp, if you will. You know, it's a much needed, well-deserved my... rest. Is just lick your wounds and come to grips with the fact that that could have been a lot worse. Mike, he recovers in a short rest? Yeah. That's crazy. That was that. That was me saying yes, and really, I thought it was always a long rest. Could be wrong though. Uh, yeah, just or me too. Uh, key levels. Remember points. Oh, what up? It it said long or short. I'm not gonna argue with it. it. Says it there. You, you are the one who can read. Mm. Yeah. So, anything is all I must wish to do. However, I must spend at least thirty minutes of rest meditating to regain my key points. I'm gonna say I did. Oh, researching camp still. <clears throat> I mean, a short rest um, is, is one hour. Yeah, found uh found a bunch of rations, split it up. Each of us have three days. Alright. Yeah. Uh, it was very much a camp that had been a forward operating base to attack these particular places and take their things, but Unlock my sheet and add three days of rations. As you mm. recover clear from your... the road. Yep. Yeah. I would say you could do that during your short rest, you know. It's a light activity more than anything. It has been purposefully left that way, I'll say, in order to invoke people to slow down. But, as you do, come to fixing this up. Is there anything you wish to do as part of your uh, break, your rest? I'm put the phone on. No, I'm just the uh, meditation. That's it. Okay. Then, oh, as it were, for your journeys, your, well, what do you wish to do, I suppose, is the question I should ask. Uh. You give me that trident. Yep, I will throw the trident onto you. Um, so he's 1d4 because it's a strength based. So where the fuck are you? You're all the way over there. Okay, I'll take your sheet, move you here. Take your sheet, move him there. So, I'm give this a strength based. Try to melee. Try to ranged. 1d6 plus more. <laughs> okay. I'll just quickly try to melee. I wonder. I wonder what gives people the stupid idea that biting cattails will end up. Is anything good? So you have here a oh I think I know I thought you're talking about fuck. Have yourself here a nice hefty trident. <clears throat> and you know, I, I've checked it and yeah. your modifiers are perfectly good. Alright, thank you. 
yeah take your time and you start clearing up the road a bit to the point where you know it is relatively clear it's obvious that something had gone down here but shy of you know four hours worth of a rest here shy of actually moving everything with the crew and taking it away you've done the best you can to show that it's at least cleared up passable hmm. sounds good we got time to get back to Calaman or do we need to rest at the farmhouse again with DD horse travel again that's like fucking it's now 2 p.m it's just the distance that can be traveled on a fucking horse you know um Uh... Oh, uh, 48 miles in 8 hours on horseback. 48? Uh, we only gotta go 20. Yeah, so, so it, it would take you take 4, four hours. hours, so you'd, you'd get back there without any issue. Alright. <clears throat> we search the camp, we clear the road. Anybody else need want to do anything else while we're here? No, uh, that's all. I need to get yeah. I need to get back to town. Buy some more rations. To report what we found so that uh -huh. maybe the the other caravans sh should be a bit more cautious. Visit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Based on what food they had, can I get an idea of what they eat? Um, well, the food they had was food that was stolen from other traveling caravans and such. Um, from what they were cooking on a stick, what they were cooking over the fire, there were smaller, sort of like I, I'm gonna say, like you know, rodents and um, sort of wildlife, you know, like squirrel on a stick, you know, things like that. It was um, they weren't eating the rations. In that regard, they weren't eating what they'd stolen. They'd been mm. hunting. If that makes ah, sense. I've been yelled for it, but uh, be right back. Oh, delete me. That's token. Uh, I can also take that effect off of yourself as well. You're no longer under that. So, I will say, as them, if no one else has done anything, if you just head on back to the city of Calaman. A longer trek in front of you. Uh, I am going to ask for someone brave to roll a d20. Roll what? To roll a d20. I'll do it. Someone brave. Yeah, your rolls have not been the best so far. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> I love I love yous, but we're gonna have a, we're gonna have sage your houses. Should we do best out of yeah, four? Now I roll a good one, a nineteen. Nope. Uh, nineteen. Let's so use travel through Make the. It better than no, no. no. <laughs> Just gonna one up me like that. <laughs> Just travel through the East Wild and Calaman, so Salamnic area. The weather for a time does start to turn. It's rather stormier and cloudier than normal. The rain does come down, but for the most part, it is fine. The horses need to slow a bit just in order to not end up falling through. And you get, you get back a little quicker, a little slower, rather, than you would have to Calaman. Jeez. Enter through the grand front gates of the city. There's no major issues. As you just walk down the main street, you see a contingent of soldiers, not wearing the colours of Calaman, but instead wearing the armor of the 
iron clad mercenaries what's their name iron clad you know the ones yeah. cudgels then hmm. some of them are still alive Holy iron shit. clad mercenaries okay I, I forget the, their exact name because you know it was like session two and Jesus <laughs> Christ my neck is broke with how quick this is going let me check iron yeah, I was gonna fucking break this up yeah as you are going through they do seem to be you know blocking the streets as it were not with any malice but more there's a huge pack of them that seems to be going all through as you watch this. Iron clad regiment. Yeah, I want to say that. Iron. Iron clad regiment, yes. Write that down. We go. How are they still alive? Well, I'll go over there to find there. out who's still alive, if any cudgel or anyone else. Yep. I forget the <laughs> other guy's name. JF, he was on the boat with you. I haven't seen him in a while. No. Let's see, his... see if cudgel's still alive. See if. Uh... Yep. I can't remember her name. Chat. Who was the Knight of Salamnia? I was about to say. Uh, Becklin. I was going to say Beckett, but I was just using De Becklin. Yeah, I was using Darrett and Becklin and Deck. Oh. Yeah. I do it all the time. As you are you know, making your way through, you do notice a smaller, darker skinned, black haired, dwarven woman. You recognize that this is Cudgel. She, yeah, steadfast heading on and making her way towards the castle. That's the group. I put it in this map just because it's going to be a lot easier. But yeah, you are no technically like here again. Yeah, let's use our. You do. I pass by you catches you and she does you see that she's relieved more than anything she's gonna turns i don't know who's in front by the way so who's in front so i know who i'm speaking to i'll be in front <clears throat> why not and she kind of is yourself i'm glad she's made it I'm glad to see you're alive too. We shot. We took the long way for one of us that we could. Held up as best we could for as long as we could. Hunkered down in an escape up river. And then down and round. It's been a few weeks and didn't look like some of us were going to make it. She's gonna <clears throat> nods her head back. What you do? You can see there are a few smaller camp, you know, like stretchers with tents on them to cover what's inside, but not like draped over like a dead body. More like a small portable medi tent for one. You can see yeah. there's quite a few of them. Uh, I asked her hmm? any word of Becklin, any news, any sight? Did we, she make it out of Vogler? Only just. They they found her by the, the front gates impaled with numerous weapons, but She's alive, still fighting. So good to hear. Yeah, 
That's great the, news. What about the town folk? Oh, um, she's in. She kind of waves backwards into the sort of myriad of medical tents. It's um, it's been tough. A tough few weeks on the march. So hopefully we can get some proper aid. <clears throat> Um, at the town spoke. Did you set? Did you find aid here, or are you still looking? We did. They agreed to let the townsfolk live outside the walls on the west side, amongst others, here as long as they needed. Well, hopefully we can rest and find some work here, as it's it's going to be a difficult path going forward. We would have gotten here quicker, but we we ran into some smaller, or rather larger issues the dragon army are encroaching on this side here from all sides everywhere we went we were forced to change directions it appears that things are, they're going, they're going to get much worse before they get any better. And Elamad's the bullseye. After that, they may move further into East Wilds. They may try to kinder more. Who knows? But what about this, I, I, what about yourselves? What what are you doing now? He's we're working with Wagner, and but Wagner no longer exists. They made sure of that. Well, we've been <clears throat> attached to the Kalaman military here as a. Uh, a special unit and we've been uh, going outside the city looking for trouble uh, finding people in trouble rescuing others basically whatever the they need as far as intelligence gathering and and uh Investigating the sign, you know, reports of trouble in the, in the area. It's been tough. We've run into a lot of draconians and humans, and I can't remember. I hate to oh, ask, but oh, oh. could you could you make the introduction for ourselves, please? be the quickest way for us to find work and like yourselves we have insight into these creatures i will gladly vouch for you and introduce you we will yeah uh, introduce Thanks. you to the, the governor and the council and let them know that you will be quite useful and I'm assuming that's up there. And she points to the <clears throat> absolutely massive castle. Um, this is at the back of the book. This is the um concept art for the Castle of Calaman. Ooh, wow. that's actually not that bad. 
they really went for the you can see this everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> see, that's what yes, that looks like that to me. Would be great. Yeah, you would assume correctly. That is where we need to go. Oh, then, um... Do you go on ahead? We will take some time. We have a lot to do. I want to find Becklin and, and give whatever aid I can to the most injured soldiers. That well, says you are you know, you know, look through some of the little tents if you will you do eventually come to finding Becklin who does it is a grim looking sight this is someone who seems to be hanging on by it like women too angry to die type situation here <laughs> And she is currently unconscious and such. And you can tell that she has been patched up to the best of any ability that could be done to anyone in the middle of a war zone. I'll give her the like the the potion of healing that I made. Well, won't you keep that? I can let, I can do cure wounds on her a couple of times if needed. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. I mean, if you, if you want to just let me know how many times you're doing it and just, you know, I think you've got like maybe four, I, I want to say four, you get one spell slot. Three? <laughs> well, mm. I got one left, but I can regain one. Regain one because Using Harness Divine Power. Channel Harness Divinity. Divine Power. Yep. 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 So. So yeah, as you see, you know, do that and you do watches quite a few of the minor wounds that you can see you know, she's bandaged up quite heavily even her armor is in you know tatters you can grate cheese on her armor but you can tell an awful lot of the minor wounds that you can see in bruisings do seem to subside and vanish as women too angry to die proceeds to <laughs> look that bit better only time can tell how well but at the moment as you kind of you know do this and watch this there are a few side eyes around as people watch what's going on you can see this glowing light from within the tent and hushed whispers from around People don't quite know what's going on. As if you recall, there has been no true cleric seen in over 350 years. <laughs> dating okay. back to before the cataclysm. The mere presence of a godly power, these individuals who have never seen this before who have been trained to hold rank seem very much inclined to get as best a look as they can and their necks almost breaking to see what's going on as you pull away you're going to hear some coughing from Beckland and she does still remain unconscious for the time, as if you yourself recall. Cast your memory back about two to three weeks now. At the gates of Vogler, you watched as numerous draconians did impale her with swords and spikes and spears just before you were forced to make your way to the Brass Crab. The fact that she is alive is no short of a miracle. And, you know, you feel with your work. 
she will definitely pull through. It's been a hard road for everyone to get here. You know it will be a harder road going forward. Is there anything else we wish to do beforehand? I'll leave her to rest and uh, depending on how long we're in the city I'll revisit over the, every day at least once a day to check up on her and provide any additional healing that I can. So I will say as we Oh, that is the wrong map for Matthew. Uh, dun, 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 dun. We have a fucking Calamine map somewhere. I know I do. It's not that one. Um, what up, my real guy? quick, who are we talking about? Beckland, the Ironclad um, Regiment, you know, the... Beckland... Beckland was the Knight of Salamnia from Vogler, and yep. Cudgel was by the Ironclad regiment leader we but this is Becklin's I've been helping oh okay because yeah I was gone for like 10 minutes um that's right man. Uh, let's see I have Baralis of Fate a that an Exodus so you'll just see that Baralis is with y'all um but Bren, Bren and Baralis are already elsewhere. Where is... Oh, I keep wondering if they were an art token, I am with Baralis instead. There's everyone much to go. It is late evening, but there is still... There is still a possibility. I don't know. I want to see if Cudgel's ready. We need to report into the governor to what we, what we found. On the ambush site. Yep. So then I gotta move all these tokens. But that can wait. If somebody if you wanna if anyone else to go shopping, go ahead. If anyone else wants to do we're all in the same bus here, guys, but it seems I've only got two fucking drivers. Well I I I I was just listening to see what happened because I didn't know I, the, I, I, yeah um, I guess <laughs> a good place to go would be some type of store I got 50 gold I could buy a health potion or two yep then or do does the armory supply health potions for adventures they do not know. Um, health potions are apothecary type made things, so with that, mm -hmm. um, you know, they are even expensive for the military. The closest thing to a healer anyone has ever seen recently is technically Renard. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I guess then uh, I will speak with Melanie. Is she here? Um, here. With all right, if she is with the Exodus and others, um, he would say, you spent some time learning how to make uh, potions, correct? Yes. Uh, would I be able to help you purchase some supplies in exchange for uh, some of these potions myself? Or, well, they would go towards the group? I was planning on making them, yeah. Right now, I, I'm offering to help put in my coin help you make more thank you uh, it would so, be appreciated oh no problem i that last battle ooh. am i am i there for this conversation y'all are walking through calaman together as a unit uh pagan's gonna say me as well and he's going to reach into his sack and he gives melano 10 platinum to go buy Materials for the potion. <laughs> I just, I just took it away. What the fuck, Exodus? <laughs> when did you get ten platinum? <laughs> That's how much again? I have a lot more than two platinum. Hundred gold pieces, I think. When did, when did you get that money? 
I'm 72 platinum. Now did I get? Did I get? No, no chin. Oh lord, he's holding out on us. <laughs> My little knife is enough to make four potions. How long have you? How long have you had money? <laughs> <laughs> Spanish Inquisition over here. Just, I'm coming out of nowhere. Because I know damn well when we started this adventure, you did not have that much money. Like, I just, this, he's like, I you know, know for certain. I think, like, I think I remember that he went shopping. You know how when, you know when stuff? humanoids have been dying, you know, and they don't blow up or turn to stone or cover you in acid. Well, Fane's been rifling their pockets. That's like one fiftieth, and he has of found, all enemies we've. And he has found so much. He's like, he's like, you didn't think about telling the rest of the the group that you have you're rich. I'm uh, Fane. Fane. I am not rich. Uh. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> In Fane's defense, he gave people matters. Well, I, uh... I didn't come along such, uh... such money until I was last in the city. We went out. I've had it with me. <laughs> He's not lying. I don't care what's the money inside. <laughs> 15. He's like... If he's not lying and insight fifteen, he's he's like can roll against it. <laughs> I'm not gonna roll against it because he's not lying. <laughs> God created the persuasion stat for a reason, but yeah, he's... I'll, I'll I'll do it just to humor it. But <laughs> where, where's persuasion? Here it is. I mean. It sounds truthful, but he definitely had some money. Yeah, I had some money, but I didn't have this. So, uh, but Fane says, I currently hold, uh, and he's going to check his bag. Actually, he knows exactly how much money he has. Uh, 72 platinum pieces uh, and three gold pieces. Okay, did you get this money due to something that the entire party did? Um, yes. Then it should go to the entire party. Uh, uh sounds fair enough. But, uh, I doubt our friend here, and he's going to refer to, uh, Renard and the other person at the castle, uh, would not like to accept said money. Yeah, no, I will. <laughs> I I will accept. <laughs> Was he there for that fight? What fight? The um the fight the fight from uh that I profited all this was the all the goblins and the hot goblin. Yeah, I yeah, remember he was, that. He was, he was there for the fight when you got uh Rickle Dust, yeah. Okay. Who's Rickle Dust? The gnome. Urkula. Yeah, there there were like ten goblins and a hobgoblin, and he looted everything. Oh, uh, yeah, that was last session? Mm hmm. Two sessions just, ago. Two I, mean, se I don't think that was there two yeah. sessions ago. Fane could just be like, no, it's not my fault that you didn't decide to check the pockets. Oh, <laughs> uh, but he. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Do a death stare at him. Did he say that? One sec. Let me uh, let me look at Fane stuff again. <laughs> he might say it. Right. I'm just looking at his personality traits. What are you uh, looking for specifically, honey? I'm looking through his ideals and stuff. Uh, his flaws. Because I know Fane's a gambler. He's not your traditional monk at all. <laughs> On a warm oh. summer's evening. 
I'm sorry, my um. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's just it's just the what the fuck? <laughs> Get me. On a train bound for nowhere. Mm. Deep breath, deep breath. So also, uh, currently, Melano has been given a uh, hundred gold. So you call it hundred gold or a platinum piece, whatever you want. Um, so that technically gives you four plus one if you include your own money, which is uh, five potential healing potions right now. Right now, okay. However, um, that is also five days worth of work. Mm -hmm. So on the downtime. Yeah. So on the downtime, you can technically make five right now. Um, I don't know that there will be uh, more time between next sessions. So between you know the next session afterwards, you don't need to worry about that. But yeah. Um... Okay, now I can actually see his stuff. Okay, I'll add five to my inventory. <laughs> I mean, I four, so that, so I have five. Yep. And just delete the gold. I'm not even even add it to my inventory, so yeah, even better. That as all this goes. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna say hey, it's not my fault that you didn't decide to check their pocket. Ah. Uh, all right, that's that's you know what, that's fair. How about this? You buy me food and drink whenever we lodge outside of he the said, city. He said that was fun, and he would go to shake his hand. I'm gonna shake his hand. I would like to roll a sleight of hand to pickpocket them. <laughs> uh, roll it. No. <laughs> Does get to roll a this is perception. <laughs> Let me let me explain this, right? Let me explain it. So it's a natural one. He looks at him, right? He shakes his hand wait, and then wait, with wait, his wait, left wait. hand, he goes to very sneakily, Hold but it's on. very obvious, just try to reach his hand into his pocket. And they're just staring at each other as he tries to take his coin pouch. Hold on, because he could get a nat one on the the whiz, on the perception. So roll again. No! <laughs> Oh, he what? As you both shake hands, as you are shaking, your hand goes out at the same time. And as he's, you are staring Fane directly in the eye. Fane is just watching your other hand just reach in <laughs> his pocket as he just kind of then looks directly back at you with shame. Smack his head. He's going to smack his head. No! Stop! <laughs> Just gonna use slide of hand to just slide a mirror in his hand instead. You still have those matters, really? I do. Roll. I'm gonna be honest with you. This was supposed to be a lot cooler than it seemed. I was gonna take your, <laughs> I was gonna take your purse. And then, like, hand it back to you as like a as like a show of like I could do it too, but like, yeah. oh, that did not work out. He's like, uh, <laughs> as as these two are doing this, uh, is there anything anyone else wishes to execute prior to this? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh um what kind of potions can she make with that much money like how like what level of five can she make normal normal okay the the longer she takes the more it costs but the, the, it costs she can make better ones however they take longer to make and they cost more okay. the cost is just her getting the things where in this in this case since she's out not out in the wild she can actually you know just go and buy the necessary equipment out in the wild however she has to forage for that particular equipment oh yeah you know, mm -hmm. I, I say equipment like you know she'll have the vials and all the rest of it but you know she won't have the necessary things um oh god he's coming back at me <clears throat> well with that she should be able to make um 
five potions was enough for everybody in the party. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna give it one to everyone in the party. Eventually. Next week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else anyone wishes to do beforehand? No, I'm just gonna... Um... I wanted to visit the tincture shop again, but we can do that later, I guess. That I will see. Well, I will ask, where are you heading? Where are you going? Straight to the castle. Then, as you yep. march on up. Work of the governor. Is Cudgel coming with us? Oh, obviously enough time has passed that yeah she has met back up with y'all and you right. are making your way through the you know through the castle with her no no one dare stop you as you are use all the people <laughs> never do that again don't worry um <laughs> pardon me let's just do it. make your way into the room you see I have a map for this. There it is. It's under castle. Why the fuck have I not looked at castle? He's enter. Into the war room. <clears throat> Bryn and Boralis looking over. Governor Myatt, Darrett, and Rickle Dust. All looking over a map. As they are. This map of a fort. And oh, my heart hurts. Taking the fort, sir. They've somehow managed to get in and lock us out. And things are somehow worse. Well, oh, what do you mean worse? How can things be worse? That's a vital point in our own defences. There are sightings that in the Wheel Watch outpost they are harbouring a dragon. These watches. The governor's face drops. There's even brickle dust. Tatina is taken back. You just look at these people. All very much confused. They turn. Oh. Uh, hello. Um. Well, I suppose you know what we're going to ask, but it's been some time since you've checked in. It's, uh, it, it, it. It's really nice to know the far gap, but that it, it works. It's great. It's amazing. The fact that we can communicate over those distances is amazing. Th thank you so much for testing that out. Is Bren moves to the side and just <clears throat> clears her throat and points towards Cudgel as she you know, takes a militant step forward. And uh, who's this one? Watches Dara is very. Wager. <clears throat> Who's whom? I beg mm. your pardon, Governor. I'd like you to introduce you to Cudgel Ironside. She is the leader of a military oh shit. Mercenary, mercenary the, band that was of the regiment helping defend the book the Ironclad Regiment, right? Yep. Um they've managed to Amazingly enough, survive the attack on Vogler and have recently arrived here in town. I believe it could be of some help. Which is there. There's there's her introduction. Myatt turns to Darrett. Yes, no, um very much instrumental. Without her group there would be no one bar uh myself this group and uh, Becklin who would have held back the dragon force so, dragon forces so um, yes what they say is true 
and given the <clears throat> recent issues that Vogler had, they she dealt with it immediately. So the betrayal, though at her group's hands, was dealt with swiftly. And I would say they have more than made up for it with that one. Um, the timing, though auspicious, uh, is understandable given the reports that we've had from the region. So yes, um, valuable asset to add to the army if nothing else. As you can watch as he sums her up. Very much dwarven women are quite small. And <clears throat> dwarven, dwarven society as a whole and the world of Kren. It's different. She kind of looks. Oh, speak with her in the morning. And now it's getting late. For it. For yourselves. The We Watch outpost has been taken. You have overheard what we said. You will be headed back out east towards the borderlands and Eastwild. This was our base that had you been stuck out in Eastwild would have been where you reported to. We now have hundreds of troops out there fighting and no way of resupplying. It will take one day on foot to journey with the rest of the, the group to get there. We have been aided by Raven von Vogler and she commands a force now. We require you to go out with the group. However, based on what you know, it is up to you at when you wish to leave. At first dawn, or at next dusk. If you leave at dawn, you'll arrive at dawn. And if you leave at dusk, you will arrive at dusk. Make no mistake. This is a full on assault. On a fort. Heavily armed. Heavily armoured. Heavily patrolled. And sightings. Of a dragon. Given mm. everything. We have seen and heard. We. Given this with any other circumstance, we would not believe there is any type of dragon, but we can no longer be sure. We must treat everything seriously. It is your choice, though. I will leave it to yourselves. Hmm. I say we leave it next to us to prepare. And we plan out a dawn. I agree. I couldn't help myself. Sorry, guys. What did you say? We plan at the dawn. We plan at no. dawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe. Uh, how long have we been in town? We just got here, right? Yeah. I'd say about in town about an hour. All right, then. Yeah, he would. Uh, Exus would say, "We just got back from a." rather strenuous fight in which most of us almost lost our lives. Uh, preferably dusk. Give us yep. a night's rest and a day to prepare. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Give us 24 hours to 
prepare and we'll leave and it dust tomorrow. Arrive in the, in the shadows. Do you use well this one? We know they're hunkered down. Regardless of what they do, they will stay there. They are surrounded. It's a matter of urgency that we get the building back. However, if the sightings and tales of a dragon are true, then it would require someone to tame and feed the dragon. Mm -hmm. They would be wise not to leave as they are surrounded without exposing themselves. Let's give it some time. Play a war of attrition. As the governor and even Kudgel both gonna look at Darren. boy's right if they have something as big as a fable dragon it would eat through any supplies and if the building is not being resupplied then they will grow restless and be sluggish it would be to your advantage Governor Mons um, over. I'll I'd like to be in the area nearby to uh, evaluate day by day when the best time to attack the keep the outpost would be rather than a day's journey away. So, so. Well, I was going to suggest that we give it about a week to run their supplies and supply yourselves. If you wish to be out there on the front lines, you can get a scope of the building and get a layout. But if you have a, a, you have a layout of the building and have a layout of the area around it, we can study from here. If people wish to have a week to, mm -hmm. but I sh I could. Um, oh, oh, see, yeah. uh, um, if I, what I was asking before I had to leave was that, did they have any berries or vegetables or like fungus, a part of their rations, the dragon, the dragon born? No, not dragon, but draconians. Um, basically what I'm getting at is, are they purely, do they only eat meat? Like, can I gather that, that they, are they, do they have a variable diet or only meat? Cause like. They've only are been herbivores eaten. or omnivores. Right? Are they carnivore? Are they carnivores? Um, I would say from what you saw them eating at that camp, it does seem more um, meat eater, as none of the rations in the boxes, none of the food in the boxes was touched. Um, but with it. It's unsure whether or not that stuff was kept there and being passed further down the line. Or mm -hmm. if it was there for them to use as rations whilst they were there. Um, quite unclear as some of it had spoiled, some of it was untouched. And it was early enough in the morning that you caught them on breakfast. Right. Uh, Exodus would bring up the fact that they do seem low on food as every encounter we've had with them... Uh, outside of the cities, they seem to be hunting and far uh, gathering animals, not hmm. so they they have a they have a clear lack, a need for food. Should we poison it? I mean, I think that in preparation, just scaring off all the animals away from the fort if possible to make the the dragon's feeding habits 
um, more unstable. So we can... Oh, I just attacked myself with a calculator. Smart. We can certainly look into doing that for you, yes. Apologies, there is. If you wish to get a further insight into the defences or the layout of the incumbent, uh, I can have Raven send over a building plan, if you will, in the next 24 hours for you to study before you leave, if you would like. That would be appreciated, yes. Absolutely. I'm a f Maybe we can find a back way in. And, uh, just using the main the main doors. There are only two entrances to the fort in that regard. After all, it's life or death. But I will get her to send that over to you in the morning. Until then, we will bid you a fair night. And in the morning, Raven shall come with a map for yourselves to use. Thank you. As you watch as the room's tense atmosphere. Eyes are darting. People seem shook. Tales of a dragon. It's not something you hear. When most speak of dragons, they follow up with a laugh. When everyone here spoke of dragons, it was followed up with dread. And as you stand here in this room, planning. There's a air of solidarity. There's a grave circumstance. And this war really only seems to be beginning. War. War never changes. War never changes. War's <laughs> changed. High five five! <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> war, War changing. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Level five. Woo! Yay! It fucking, yes. oh, it's like a level of session, man. <laughs> this is why I hate Milestone. Was that level five? Yeah, that's why I fucking hate Milestone. Extra attack, here I come. <laughs> 